All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining. I know we've got a few people that are coming in. So look, today's live stream is going to be the same as what we did last time. We are connecting people directly to EDD to help you guys get your claims fixed. The purpose of this live stream, in addition to that, is to make sure that you guys know what's gonna happen on the other side of getting on EDD's hold line, right? And really knowing like how those disconnects work, knowing who the tiers of agents are, how to talk to them, what agents can do what, you know, a tier one versus a tier two, um, you know, kind of figuring out how those hold times work between connecting to those different tiers. So this is a, you know, really educational live stream uh, in the sense that you guys will know a lot more about what's going to happen once you reach EDD by using a paid service like Claimer. All right. So I'll be purchasing these calls for you guys today using Claimer. Um, you know, anybody that wants to join in and get one, if you guys have problems with your claim, you have a pending issue, you haven't been paid for a while. Um, you know, I give you as many tips as I possibly can in terms of the calling, uh, you know, options that are available to you. I also talk about some of the other things that are happening out here in the world of EDD, right? With regards to options to contact your assemblyman, um, you know, the new conditional payments program that EDD came out with last week. So a lot of good information. Uh, guys, this live stream is probably going to go for a little over two hours. Um, I generally keep them to about two to two and a half hours, and I try to get in usually 20 to 30 phone calls. I have to manually program these in myself on my phone. Um, so that's how this generally works, right? Uh, the thing I always ask for anybody that's actually going to get these calls is please stay on the live stream. Uh, this is a way that you guys are actually paying it forward and helping us kind of find out what's happening with Claimer and what's happening with EDD. Uh, and specifically around like how long it's going to take for Claimer to get you a callback so they actually have EDD call you back. And then we want to find out how long it's taking for you to wait on hold for EDD to reach an agent. We want to find out how those disconnects are working right. We want to find out if that agent actually helped you, if they were rude, if they didn't help you, if they kind of just brushed you off. And I've got a lot of, you know, background with talking to unemployment agents. So if you guys are like a little unsure if the agent gave you great advice, um, you know, you can certainly post that in the chat box here and I will, you know, give you my opinion on whether or not you need to reach another agent to get some more traction on your claim. I also teach you about the really important fact that by getting these callbacks today, guys, you guys are actually getting 10 additional callbacks free from Claimer for additional 48 hours above and beyond what I'm taking care of uh, when I purchase these for you. So I want to make sure you guys know how you use those callbacks strategically to get as much traction on your claim that we can over the next 48 hours, the next two to three business days. OK, so that's what I'm asking for you guys. Stick around for the live stream. If you don't have that type of time today, um, you know, I'll be doing more live streams later in the week, potentially, and I will definitely be doing some more um, next week as well. So just be patient, right? You know, we'll get you guys taken care of if you can't give that time today. Um, awesome. So I was going through the list before the live stream started. We've got a bunch of people that have already emailed me, which is fantastic. So the way that the emails work is this. What I need you guys to do if you want a free callback from EDD using Claimer, I need you to email me a screenshot that you subscribed to my email. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the uh, chat box in just a second. You'll email me that screenshot and you'll put your name and your phone number. And guys, one thing I need you to do is if your name is different than your YouTube name, like, you know, say, hey, this is my YouTube name and this is my real name. I don't need to share your personal information, your name, but I've got to find a way to correlate your YouTube name and the name that you're putting in your email, right? Because I need you to actually check in during the live stream. So hopefully you guys have seen a couple of these live streams. If you guys are new, just ask some questions in the chat box. We usually have a few people that have gone to these live streams before and they're willing to help out. So ask questions, guys. Um, usually some people will step in and jump in. I'm going to be pretty busy multitasking because I'm going to be dialing, you know, uh, these numbers for you in terms of getting them set up with Claimer. I'll also be looking at emails during the live stream. So I may not be able to directly respond to all of your chats in real time. But when I'm looking down, you guys will know that I'm not able to look at the chats. Um, yeah. So with that said, for those of you that have emailed me already. All right. And I'll be going through this list here in just a sec. Please go ahead and check into the chat box. OK, you know, say, hey, my name is X. And I've already emailed you, all right? And then that way I can double check and make sure that I've got you on my email list and I've got your phone number and we can get this ball moving here pretty quickly. So we did a live stream yesterday, guys, and the callbacks were taking about uh, 30 to 45 minutes from the time that I placed the order with Clamor to when EDD called uh, the people that got those callbacks back. So just keep in mind that should be less today. Tuesdays are generally less busy than Mondays, but I'm expecting these callbacks to be taking around, oh, 
you know, again, those 30 minutes or so. All right. So there's going to be some patience involved today, guys. And again, if you're looking for a phone call, um, just be patient. I will be getting to you guys by the end of the live stream. I do check my emails three times through the live stream. Okay. So just be patient. All right. I will get to you. I promise you. Um, it doesn't hurt to, you know, show, send a chat, say, hey, have you checked and seen my email yet? And just kind of keep asking that throughout the live stream. And that helps me keep an eye out for your email. Okay. All right, guys, uh, let me go ahead and put into the chat um, how to get in contact with me easily. And then I'll come back and check the chat box in just a sec. And welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining. Cool. We've got a nice, healthy group of folks here. Um, welcome, everyone. I hope you guys are doing all okay. And like I said, we'll be getting these calls going pretty soon. And while I'm doing the calls, I'll be giving you guys, again, all the information that you guys are going to need um, once we actually get you guys set up with a call with Claimer, and then how to deal with the disconnects and how to deal with the agents on the other side, because there's a lot of information that you guys may not be aware of. And again, for anyone that's been to the live stream before, if you guys could help me out in the chat box, you know, first off, like everybody be really nice and kind. Like, I don't want to see any nasty comments. Um, I will kick out any spammers. We'll do all that good stuff, right? But if you guys see any questions from somebody that's new um, and you know how to answer that question, you know, feel free to jump in and help that person. You know, whether it's they don't know how to email me, um, they don't know how the live stream works, or maybe they have a question on their claim that you feel like you've got an answer to, feel free, guys. Like, we're all trying to help each other here, right? Hang on, guys. I'm just finishing off this uh, little chat that I'm going to drop in, and then I'm going to pin that. Cool. I'm almost over ready to check in on the chats. Again, guys, if you have emailed me, please put your name in the chat box, okay, while I'm getting all this done. If you've emailed me and said, hey, like, hey, I've emailed you, this is my name, and that way I can cross-reference and check you off. And what I do is I check everybody in, and then I start calling on their behalf. So if you haven't checked in or you haven't emailed me, please let me know. All right, cool. Got that pinned. Let me get this put up to the top. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at the chats really quick. Kind of say hello to everyone. Hey, good morning. So we got G-Town says, good morning, waiting, hopeful. Yeah, guys, this will work, okay? Um, I guarantee you this, at a minimum, at a minimum today, every single one of you guys that gets a callback, this is what I can guarantee. Every single one of you that gets a callback from Claimer today, you will be on hold with EDD. That's all that Claimer can do. Claimer does not work for EDD. They don't have the ability to directly connect you to agents. What they have is they have the ability to get you onto the hold line so you guys can start putting in your work to try and reach an agent, okay? So that's the minimum that we're looking for today is to get you on hold. The next thing I guarantee is that if that call drops on you because EDD, and again, this isn't Claimer's situation, this is EDD's problem with their phone system. They just have too many people that get on the hold line and then they start kicking people off. If you get disconnected, keep in mind that might happen, all right? We had some people that got disconnected yesterday. It happens all the time, all right? Um, you just have to be, you know, persistent. What I guarantee you is that you guys, if you follow my instructions, you will have 10 additional callbacks. You have 10 more times to call EDD on your own behalf, right? Using Claimer, and they will call you back just like they're doing on the live stream. All right, so you don't have to dial 100 times a day to try and get through. You can press yes one time to claimers text messages and boom, they start calling for you and you'll get a call back. So that's the minimum that I guarantee today. The live stream that we did two days ago, uh, we had people that actually got paid on the live stream over the phone. That's kind of like the highest we can expect, right? That's actually you talking to an agent, most likely you've got a quarterly review, you've gone into pending over the last like two weeks and literally an agent can fix your claim over the phone and hopefully you guys can give us that feedback during the live stream like these other three gentlemen did 
and they got paid and confirmed that on the live stream. So that's kind of like the range, right? The minimum is we make sure you get connected to EDD today. The best case is that you get paid on the phone today. All right. So we're going to be somewhere in the middle on that. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Delana. Good morning, Delana. Need tech support. I'm sure they're robbing me. I need to see if they're reckless to screw up my life money. All right, Delana. Um, yeah, I hear you. Let's hopefully get you set up um, for another call. So Delana, I think I set you up with a call yesterday. It looks like you need another connection. Um, let me know. Hey, Doug, uh, good morning. Doug, I think you are asking, well, there is a Doug that asked that sent me an email and asked if I cannot share phone numbers. Unfortunately, I don't have that capability because I'd have to unplug my phone and then I can't plug that back in during the live stream. And again, that's kind of the point of this, right, is to make sure that you guys are able to see like what I'm doing. So Doug, you need to let me know if you don't want me to share your phone number. I don't have a way around that right now. Um, let me know in the live stream and, you know, we'll we'll figure that out. Um, all right. Good morning, Todd. Hi, Imgard. Good morning. April, good to see you. Mike, welcome. Hit the like button, everyone. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Yeah, so um, Mike brings up a good point. I probably don't do enough self-promotion, um, mostly because I'm, again, focused on trying to help you guys. But you guys can really help me. Um, you know, hit the like button, hit the comment button, please, you know, of course, you guys have already subscribed, but help me build up the channel, you know, uh, tell people in other Facebook groups, you know, if you can, if you're in those other Facebook groups, you know, that Claimer and myself, like I'm not a scam, tell them about these live streams, you know, we're helping people like this is a way of us giving back to the community for sure. Um, I have no ulterior motive other than that, right? Um, so help me out in those spaces if you can. All right, let's see what else we have here. Uh, Delena drop calls. Yep. Kyle Wheatley. Kyle, good morning. G town. Uh, I emailed you. My name is Lisa. Yep. Lisa. I see, I see you on my list. Okay. Um, Danielle, I see you on my list. Kyle, uh, yeah, let me just kind of go through this. So, um, Kyle, I don't see you on my list. If you want a callback, I may have missed you. Um, I do get a lot of emails, guys, or your YouTube name is different than your email that you gave me. So this is kind of that we're, we're trying to right now kind of check everybody in. So um, while I'm talking about this, like if you hear my name, if you hear me call you out, you know, and let's say your name is Kyle, for example, say, hey, yeah, I've emailed you or I haven't emailed you or I've emailed you and this is the name that I'm using in that email. OK. All right. So we've got uh, G-Town, Delana. Delana. Are you criminals? Did I fall for a scam? Hey, Delana, um, I don't know what to tell you, kiddo. Like, the the calls drop, and that's not again an issue that Claimer can control. That's an issue that's going to happen with EDD side. Okay, if you're concerned that we're a scam and you don't want to use the service today, that's fine. But I don't want this kind of like, you know, constantly going back and forth in the chat box about this. So you know, I got you a call back yesterday. I'm happy to give you another one today. Um, I need you to follow a little bit more closely, you know, in terms of paying attention to, you know, what Claimer can do and how those callbacks work and how the drop calls work. But again, like, you know, if there's too many comments about this is just a scam and whatnot, I'm just not going to be able to, you know, keep, keep going with that. All right. So keep that in mind. I'm trying to help you guys. Okay. All right. Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. Yep. I've got you on my list. Um, G town Lisa says, thanks for doing this. My claim ended in May. Cool. Yeah. So let's take a look and see if we can get that fixed for sure. Uh, Doug writes, Delano, I did this last week and the service worked well. Okay. Hey, Doug or Delano. Um, yeah, I don't know if I have your phone number set up here. I'm going to go through that in just a couple minutes, but guys, bear with me here. Um, I'm trying to, again, I, if you guys have gotten a free callback for me in the past, um, I see Imgard, you're in the live stream again. Uh, please send me another email that way I, I can, you know, get a new fresh email. Cause otherwise it may not, I may not be able to find it in my, my inbox. Okay. So help me out there. Delana Morell is spam. I don't think Delana is spam. I think that she's just a little, um, understandably frustrated. She's got some health issues that she's kind of working through. Um, appreciate it, Mike, but let's try, <laughs> let's try and everybody be patient here. All right. Hey, Daniel, good to see you, man. Thanks, Nick. Okay. So guys, everybody, Daniel has been uh, helping with some really important commentary 
over the last few live streams. Uh, he's also part of the, the the channel in terms of a lot of great comments. Um, so I'm just going to kind of give you some feedback. He's been working with his assemblyman to fix a pretty difficult uh, situation going on with his claims. So let's see what's going on there. He says, thanks, Nick. Contacted my assembly men on Wednesday. Got a response back Thursday. Spoke to an adjuster on Friday. She wanted a copy of my former employer's direct deposit into my bank account. Sent a copy to them. Got my pending to paid yesterday. Hey, guys. Daniel, congratulations. Like, guys, this is something we'll talk about throughout the live stream. Daniel had a pretty complex issue going on with a wage verification issue. Um, where his employer, you know, well, I may be paraphrasing this incorrectly, but if I remember from yesterday's live stream, Daniel um, forgot to report, I believe it was uh, some wage separation, some vacation pay or something along those lines. And his employer said, you know, we paid him X and Daniel's like, no, they paid me Y. And then EDD's in the middle trying to get this figured out. And this took a long time to get this fixed. By contacting his assembly man, uh, Daniel was able to get his pending uh, paid or pending case you know, fixed and actually got paid yesterday by working with assemblymen. So guys, I will absolutely recommend contacting your assemblyman and I'll give you guys some tips on that coming up. All right, Doug Gutierrez. Okay, cool, thanks, Doug, I appreciate it. Um, I'll be showing your phone number. Irene, welcome, good morning. Irene, um, welcome back. If you need, guys, anyone that was on the live stream yesterday, um, send me another email, okay? Send me another email this morning and let me know that you need another callback, okay? Because again, I know I have your phone number, but it's hard to find your phone number once it's in buried in all the emails, okay? So I kind of do it like, who sent me the most recent emails first, all right? Good to see you again, everyone. Amy, has anyone conditionally get the conditionally pays yet? Yeah, that's a great question. Has anyone, um, well, I mean, I assume if you're here on the live stream trying to get a call into EDD, you probably haven't gotten paid yet. But maybe you guys have heard of some people that have gotten um, the conditional payment that EDD announced uh, last week. So that'd be great to hear. I'd love to hear your feedback there. All right. G-Town writes, you are actually helping people in the world. Yeah, for sure. Well, helping people in California. <laughs> All right. Delana, yes, I need another connection. I haven't been helped. Okay, Delana, be cool, be patient. We'll get you set up. Um, Irene, drop call as well. Yeah, so Irene, I hope you're, if I got you those connections yesterday, you still should have uh, 10 more connections. It will depend on how many you used. Um, you know, I hope you've been using those callbacks that Claimer provides within 48 hours, right? So I hope you've been replying yes to those text messages and then getting those callbacks. You don't have to come to a live stream just to get a callback. Those callbacks are good for 48 hours. And we'll get into that a little bit more. All right, guys, we're almost getting started here with the live stream in terms of getting calls going. AG was disconnected. Did you get my info? Um, AG, I will double check. Um, I appreciate you checking in. Let's see what we got here. Just give me a second on that. Dana writes, explained each payments were vacation days and severance. Wanted to give a big thank you to Assemblyman Stephen Choi and his contact person, Peter O. Peter O did a great job of helping me out. I'm so happy for you, Daniel. Thanks, man. Like, I'm sure it's been a huge issue to get all that squared away and you finally found a way through. So thank you for coming on the channel and sharing this. Um, I will continue to promote, you know, contacting your Assemblyman uh, in the live streams as well as in the videos. I think they're a great resource. Victor. Answer yes to the text from yesterday, Delana, for another callback. Thank you, Victor. Hey, Victor, I see that you're here today. I'll be getting you a callback too. All right, guys, we're almost getting started. Your service is helping a lot of people from G-Town. I reapplied in early July, but it never went into pending. Okay, never went through, it went into pending. Okay, yeah, so G-Town, let's get you a call and let's see if we can get that figured out for you. Um, yeah, Daniel brings up a great point. Contact your assembly person every angle and be persistent. Yeah, guys, this is all about being persistent. Whether it's calling or contacting your assemblyman, you guys just need to not give up. Okay, just don't. Um, that's how I'm still working my claim in Nevada where I'm based out of. And, you know, it's, it's the only way to do it. These are legally entitled benefits. It's just a matter of time before someone finally, you know, here's, here's my, my, my plea for help and gets me the help that I need. Um, and you guys are in the same situation too. All right, Irene, I got through yesterday and I was on ED, I was told EDD that EDD must update my claim since July 4th, I'm on two weeks pending. So Irene, what I recommend is this, I would use another callback, okay? And contact another agent today. Request a callback right now and talk to another agent to see if that can get fixed. Guys, a lot of times when you talk to an agent, um, you know, they may not have the skills or the training to fix your claim right on the spot. Um, and I recommend that if they don't 
you know, fix it right on the spot, ask for a tier two rep, ask for a level two specialist, whatever they want to call themselves. And, you know, see if you can get transferred up to that to get a more complex claim uh, situation fixed. All right. So please do that. Just because you guys reach an agent and they tell you something today does not mean that's the end of your journey at all. It, it, it may not, it, they may fix it, but guys, again, like I really recommend that you keep talking to someone until you get your claim fixed, um, or at least you find out more information about your claim. All right. Caden writes, hello. Hi, Caden. Kim Ho, I will email you shortly. Thanks for your help. Sincerely. You guys are welcome. Uh, Zippler writes, I've been on Penny for 10 weeks. I've been told I have to wait for an interview and it's been like two months. And that one who told me was the set was that assembly member from California. Yeah, so uh, Ziplo, I would recommend you contact that assembly member again, because again, what they've done is the last two weeks, they have uh, added two new staffers. And from what I've been reading on the news reports, these are EDD staffers that are actually helping people. All right. So if you've gotten a difficult response, or maybe not as much help as you'd like, you know, in the past, I recommend you contact your assembly member again. And also Ziplo today for what I'd recommend is you need to talk to a tier two or what they call an adjuster to see if you can get what's called a mini interview done over the phone today. Um, and that way you might be able to get that pending interview pulled off your claim, get the interview done, um, you know, try it from every angle, right? That's how we can do it. All right. Nana writes, how, and Aaron, how writes, I'll resend the information. Thank you, AG. Irene, yep, yep, thank you. I replay, you replied yes this morning. Okay, Irene, cool. Thanks for letting us know. Hey, Irene, if you're on the live stream, can you let us know how long it took you to get your call back? Victor writes, one week pending, one week paid equals quarterly review. Yeah, guys, Victor uh, seems to know quite a bit about unemployment. So I recommend you guys kind of follow his advice on this live stream. Any advice he gives is great. Usually it looks like. Same thing with Daniel. Guys, um, you know, please keep in mind there's some really great people that are part of this community that uh have some you know key information so follow that please all right uh caden yep there is a pinned uh chat at the top of the chat box and you'll see the instructions on how to get a call back okay Zippler writes i contact my assemblyman yesterday via email i hope to get this fixed too yeah good good man like you're getting started on that process it'll take you uh a couple, you know, days to get some progress going on that, but I hope you'll keep us posted on that assemblyman progress. AG writes, thanks again. I just sent you my information. Don't go crazy. You get to it when you get to it. Thanks, AG. I appreciate it. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to read off um, people that have emailed me and I'll see if I can get everybody checked in that way. So I'm looking for Hannah. I know Lisa's checked in, so you're going to be number one. Linda, I have not seen you either. May, I'm looking for you. And again, these are names that you guys have put into uh, your email. Like, again, because what you guys put in your email versus what's on YouTube, those might be different things. Um, Leslie, I'm still looking for you. Ellen V, you were on the live stream yesterday, but I don't know if you're here today. I'm looking for Adriana. Um, I'm looking for John, or his YouTube name is You Know Mad. I'm looking for Edward. Doug, I have. Doug, you're going to be number two. Victor, I see you here. You're going to be number three. Danielle, I saw you. You're going to be number four. All right, guys, let's go back and I'm going to check the emails really quick. Just make sure I've got everybody kind of caught up. And I'll come back to the live stream in just a sec here. I'm just grabbing some more emails. Cool. All right, I've got Lisa. Lisa, I, yep, got you set up. Uh, let's see, I've got April. April, you emailed me. If you can put your name, April, into the chat box if you're on the live stream, please do so right now, and I will get you a call back. 854-4904, okay. Uh, let's see, I've got um, Arshak. Arshak, please put your name in the put your name Arshak in the chat box and I will get you a call back, okay? You guys, what I'm doing right now, I'm looking down, I'm writing down the uh, numbers that you guys have sent me emails on, okay? All right, AG, I've got you. Thank you, AG. You are going to be number five because I've seen you already. 
And guys, I, I make this as fair as I can. Don't get upset if I miss your number or I, you know, change things around. I'm doing my best here. I will absolutely be getting you guys callbacks, okay? So just be patient. Don't get frustrated. Um, you know, we're doing the best we can. Okay, so I have a Mr. Abbott. Um, all right, Mr. Abbott, if you can put your name, Mr. Abbott, in the chat box and let me know that you're here. I will get you a call back. I'm writing down your number right now. And I have Kim. Kim, I believe I've seen you in the chat box. Can you please just put your name in there really quick? Uh, into the chat box, please. Kim, I'm looking for Kim. You've emailed me. And the other thing too, guys, is I had some difficulty with this yesterday. Um, if I end up putting in your phone number wrong, um, don't freak out. <laughs> like, just let me know in the chat box and I'll get you another call back, okay? And Caden, I see you there. Hey, Caden, um, I need your phone number, okay? Uh, I saw that you emailed me. Send me another email with your phone number, okay? All right, let me go back to the chat box here and i think we're about ready to get everybody cranked up okay so i have our shack let's just go through here caden april all right let's see here ag mr abbott okay mr abbott you're going to be number six our shack you're going to be number seven um april april where are you april you're going to be number eight thank you april um i'm looking for kim Let's see, I, I thought I saw Kim in here somewhere. I try and I'll, I'll sometimes I'll go back. Oh, Kim. Okay, Kim, I do see you here. Kim, you're going to be number nine. Uh, and guys, that's enough to get started, all right? So real quick before I start calling, um, I'm looking for Hannah, Linda, May, Leslie, Adriana, John, Edward, and Ryan. Uh, those people have inter or have uh, emailed me in the you know, over the last 24 hours. And if you guys are on the live stream right now, please put your names in the live stream and check in, okay? But let's get this going, guys. I know we're all waiting to get some calls moving and yeah, here we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing when I'm looking down, I'm literally on my phone, okay? And I've got this plugged up onto the screen here. I'm sharing my screen. Um, I'm going to clamor.com and I'm just putting in your phone number and I'm setting this all up for you guys so you guys get these calls, okay? What I need each and every one of you guys to do is that as I get your call sent to you, I need you guys to let me know that you got the text from Claimer, okay? If you don't get the text, it's not the end of the world, but it's possible that I may have not put the number in correctly. I may have written it down wrong or maybe I put it in wrong, okay? So let me know if you got the text. The next thing I need you guys to do is once you get the text, you need to realize that what's happening is that Claimer is calling EDD in the background, right? So they're calling in the background and you're like, hey, why? Where, where's my callback? You guys need to stay on the live stream and you need to stay and keep your phone on handy because you're gonna be getting a callback from this 800 300 5616 number. And it's just gonna come, you're not gonna, I, I don't know when it's gonna come. I have no control over that. I imagine it's gonna be in the next like 30 minutes or so, okay? But that being the case, let us know when that callback arrives. Please, you gotta let us know in the chat box. Just say, hey, I got my callback, I'm on hold with EDD. The next thing I need you guys to be aware of is that you may be on hold for 30 to 40 minutes or longer, right? So, you know, just stay on hold. Don't you, you know, leave a message with them. I, I know that works for some people. I personally don't recommend it. Um, you know, if you guys want to use that on your own time, be my guest. But I'm just saying, if you guys get on hold with EDD, take advantage of it uh, and, and stay on hold until an agent picks up. Okay. It, it, it's, it's to your, your benefit. All right. Okay. Let's get this going here. So again, I'm going to have Lisa, Doug, Victor, Danielle. Uh, let's see, Danielle, then AG, Mr. Abbott, Arshak, Arshak, and guys, if I pronounce your names wrong, I apologize in advance, uh, April and Kim. Okay. All right. Let's get this going. And guys, I'll try and keep up with the chat comments as we go. All right. Thank you for answering my question. I'm here. I'll update you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Lorena. Hi, Lorena. Welcome. 
All right, woke tree, I have a claim. Thank you. AG, AG, um, did I get you AG? Yeah, I did get you AG, okay, yeah, you're good. Daniel writes, Nick is the prime example of patience. He's been waiting a long time for his payment. Don't give up guys. I know it's tough and hard, but keep fighting. April writes, thank you, Nick. You guys are also welcome. Yeah, so guys, in case you don't know, uh, my claim is in Nevada. I am a PUA claimant. I've waited. Well, I'm a first time filer. So I filed originally uh, in PUA, you could file in May. I actually filed for regular unemployment because I knew I needed to be denied in Nevada uh, for regular unemployment before I'd get my PUA. So I applied in March of 20, gosh, was it 2020 or was it 2019? Anyways, I forget. It's been so long now. Um, 72 weeks I, I filed for unemployment benefits i received one payment um i got that payment and then they shut everything down and threw me into uh, disqualification i've waited 72 weeks uh it's been longer than that i stopped filing because i came back to work with my brother's company uh my brother's company is claimer and this was again i helped him you know find out like how to get his claim fixed he calls me back two weeks later and's like hey uh i can't get through to edd like I ended up building a little software setup to call and it worked. And I was like, awesome, man, good for you. And next thing I know, he's like, do you think we should start a company to help people? And I'm like, well, it's gonna be hard, right? Like people need need this service, but you know, unfortunately they're gonna think you're a scam and you know, all this. And he's like, I get it. So anyways, long story short, um, I helped him for the first few months that the company was getting going. I was going through a lot of personal health, uh, mental health stuff, to be honest. Uh, you know, went through a divorce and the pandemic. I moved back in with my parents. It was a total, you know what? It was bad. Uh, and anyways, I came back to work with my brother after he asked me to help him with some YouTube work in May. And this is the only job I would ever do, which is I get to help people literally every single day by doing YouTube videos. And I'm, I'm not an expert, guys. I make lots of mistakes. Um, but I literally get to make YouTube videos to, you know, give you guys updates on what's happening with EDD. I get to do live streams where you guys get, you know, access to claimer to, you know, get your guys claimants or your, 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 your claims paid faster. Um, this is really important work to me on a personal level. So, and this is why I do it. Um, and Daniel, thanks again. Yeah, he's hundred percent right. This is all about having patience guys. If you don't have patience for this, if you get frustrated, you're just not going to have the right mindset to get your claim paid quickly. Um, you know, and there's some there's some situations like mine, because mine is an appeals in Nevada, it's just not going to get paid any faster, unfortunately. There's just nothing I can do. I've contacted all my legislative, uh, you know, representatives, I've contacted senators. The only thing I haven't been able to do is I have not been able to get on the news yet. So but I'm still trying to get on the news. Like I email the news uh, people in Las Vegas and Reno all the time. And someday someone will pick up my claim for sure. All right, let's get on with some calls, guys. Kyle Wheatley. Yeah, Kyle. Um, cool, guys. Like, guys, just be patient. I'm going to start cranking out some phone calls here. And I will check the emails in a, in a second batch here coming up. All right. So let's get uh, Lisa set up here. So I'm here at claimer.com, right? All they need you to do is you set up your phone number. And I'm just going to punch this in for Lisa here. And then you come down through, select your state. You press the call now button. And I'm going to be putting in my name just because I'm purchasing these for you guys today. And you guys can see this goes pretty quick. So just a name and an email. Uh, and then I'm just going to put in a prepaid card that I have. And Doug, this kind of goes back to your point. You're like, I don't want my phone number shared. Well, I don't want my uh, card number shared. But the reality is, like, I think if anybody's like going to scam people on a live stream where people are getting help with unemployment claims, I just think there's some like karma that's going to come back on them pretty hard. So <laughs> that's my thought. I generally trust people a lot. And I think it's a even when people burn me from time to time, I think it's a better way to go. All right, so it says my zip code does not match. Oh yeah, that's right, because I have a different zip code on this card. Cool, let's get this. Awesome. Okay, hey Lisa, you've got a callback coming. So you're gonna see on the screen here, and it shows right here. 
All done. We'll forward a call from California to your phone when we get connected. Look out for a call from 800-300-5616. So Lisa, let me know that you got that text, okay? And guys, everyone else, this is what you guys are all going to expect, okay? You're going to get that same text and the same number is going to be coming and hitting you. All right, let's get on with Doug here. All right, Doug. I think I've got this set up right. 8387292. And that first call went out at 906. Okay, we're choosing California. And again, I'm just using my personal info. Chris gives me an update. Hey, Chris, thanks for giving an update after being in yesterday's live stream. Just want to provide my feedback. It worked. Uh, I'm assuming Claimer worked. Got a hold of a tier one and a tier two after, bo after about four hours of waiting. Got through and they resolved my case, went from pending to paid. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, so this is great news. Chris is a uh, gentleman that was on our live stream yesterday. Um, congratulations, Chris. He actually had, it sounded like a situation with his claim where he needed to talk to a tier two rep. Um, and as you guys notice in his comments, it took four hours being on hold. <laughs> like this is how crazy it is, you know, to get through to a tier two agent some days of the week, not all days, but sometimes it takes a long time. Chris was super patient. He took all the advice that we had in the live stream. He got through to tier two agent. Sounds like he was super kind to these agents. He approached them correctly. Um, you know, he, he just, I, I don't know. It just makes me happy when, when I hear this. He got a great tier two agent that fixed his claim and went from pending to paid. Um, guys, like this is the type of magic that calling can do uh, when you A, get a little bit lucky, right? You don't have any disconnects. And also, um, you know, when you guys are, are persistent, right? That So Chris, thank you so much for that feedback. I really appreciate that. Helps a lot of people kind of understand, um, you know, really what they're kind of getting into, right? Some claims are really easy to fix um, and you can get it done with the first person that you talk to. Sometimes you're going to need to talk to a tier two rep and you're going to have to wait on hold for four hours. And that might just be what it takes to get your claim paid. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. All right, guys, I'm just cranking out some more numbers here. Congratulations again, Chris. Um, hey, Chris, if you got a quick second, could you tell me how many like weeks of back pay you were? No, I don't need the number, but like, like, well, I don't need to know how much your claim was, but like, how many weeks were you pending? Like, you know, was it like three weeks? Was it five weeks? Like, I'm just kind of curious. All right, guys. Uh, so, Doug, I just got you a connection. All right, um, keep an eye out for that 800. 300-5616 number, okay? And let me know that you got the text. Chris writes, also, pressing nine every 10 minutes helps so you won't get, get connected. Persistence is key, just keep calling. Awesome, okay. Um, I got an air to go, uh, got your text. Okay, air to go, I think you are Lisa. Okay, no, G-Town Talks, you were Lisa, you did get it. Okay, thank you, Lisa, for letting me know that you got the text. Uh, air to go, got your text. I think that means you are Doug. Anyways, I hope you're Doug. <laughs> um, awesome, thanks for confirming that. Victor writes, claimer's a time saver. No need to keep redialing EDD just to get on hold. Yeah, guys, that's really what it comes down to. You know, it's it's like, you know... It's what's your time worth? What's your what's your sanity worth, right? Like in Nevada, I stopped. And real quick, before I go off that rant, uh, Victor, you're actually up right now, so I'm gonna get your phone call set up for you. Um, in Nevada, like when it first the pandemic first came out, uh, Lisa writes, "What does pressing nine do?" So what it seems to do, and again, and like, you know, we're not a hundred percent. It doesn't work a hundred percent of the time. That's that. That's a fact. But it seems to help. What it seems to do is it seems to trick the uh, EDD phone system into like letting the computer know that there's still someone on hold. Okay, so just do that every ten minutes or so, and it seems to just you know picking up that tone that it, it helps. Um, 
Although I've seen people that do that and then it doesn't work for them. So again, it just, it, it, it can't hurt anything. All right. So yeah, Lisa and Doug, please let me know when you guys get that callback from that 800 number. Cause you guys are literally going to be on hold with EDD at that point. And that's what you guys are waiting for. All right, let me get this set up for you, Victor here, and then keep an eye on the chats. All right, see if we can get these going a little bit faster. I try and get the calls done as fast as I can while trying to talk. Uh, so, you know, multitasking, which I'm not at least very good at. Um, so I apologize that sometimes it goes a little bit slower than I'm sure any of us would like. But yeah, guys, like this works, right? You guys are seeing, uh, Chris came in, he was on the live stream yesterday. Um, he got paid. You know, I, I'm telling you guys, you guys might not get paid today, but if you use these callbacks uh, and you call effectively and you contact your assembly member, I, I would say almost guaranteed there is a very, very high chance that you will, guys will get your claim uh, paid this week uh, or early next week by contacting people. Okay, Victor, I've got you a callback, bud. All right, so you see that on the screen. Keep an eye out for that 800 number. And thanks, Victor, for jumping in. Always helping, man. I appreciate it. Um, let me know if you got the text, Victor. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at chats really quick. Um, light flex. I sent an email to, yeah, guys. So for everyone that, um, sent an email or wants a call, I checked the emails three times during the live stream. I, um, I have my first list of about 10 people. I will be checking the emails here as soon as I get through this list. And then I will get you guys you know, uh, a call back then. So just be patient. Okay. If you guys are coming to live stream a little bit later, or I haven't called your name out yet. Just be patient. I'll get to you. I promise. Dan writes, thank you, Victor, for confirming that you got the text. Uh, Dan writes another tip I learned from Nick when speaking to the reps is to be kind, courteous, asking them how their morning or day is going, kill them with kindness. Yeah. So before I get onto that comment, um, Danielle, I'm going to be setting up your phone number right now. Yeah. So Daniel brings up a super key fact that I think a lot of people end up missing um, when it comes to contacting or how to talk to these agents. And, you know, this is probably a good time to, you know, get everybody aware that most of the time, and I would say probably 90% of the time, the first person that you actually talk to on the phone is going to be what's called a tier one agent, okay? Um, or a level one agent or whatever, you know, they want to call themselves. But what they are is they are a subcontractor. So they don't actually work for the state of California. Uh, they were hired on by EDD to help out with, you know, the crazy influx of, of calls that started really coming in once the pandemic happened. So, you know, these are subcontractors. They work from home. Um, and with that all being said, you know, they don't have the ability to fix claims as much as an actual EDD employee would, right? So an EDD employee who, you know, works for the state, has access to all the systems, has been fully trained, so on and so forth, right? Like they can do a lot more. And so they're what's called a tier two rep. So just be aware that depending on what's kind of going on with your claim, you're most likely going to talk to a tier one rep. And, you know, they may not have all the training or the ability to fix your claim over the phone, and they may need to transfer you over to a tier two rep or a specialist or an adjuster um, that works for EDD specifically and get your claim fixed from that perspective. Well, guys, if you want, that doesn't mean that tier one rep can't do anything for you. They can do a lot, surprisingly. Um, they really can. They can also tell you things that aren't necessarily true. Okay, real quick, Danielle, I've got your callback. Okay, so you see that success screen on the page. Uh, keep an eye out for that 800 300 5616. Let me know that you got that text from Claimer. Okay, awesome. Let's keep going. So, yeah, I'm back here to Claimer. Uh, who's next here? Let's see. AG, you are next. Um, yeah, so you know, these tier one reps, right? They don't have the ability to do everything that, a, you know, a claim specialist can do. They don't have the ability to make a ton of changes, but they definitely can do some things. But I do recommend, no matter if you're talking to a tier one rep or the tier two rep, that you guys go out of your way. And I mean this, out of your way to <laughs> be kind, to be friendly, 
to put on your best customer polite service face that you can like talk to your grandma on a Sunday before you're going to church or something like that. If that means anything to you, like what's, what's, what's really important, right? Is you guys have to realize that the work that these people are doing that are answering these calls, you guys got to think about it. Like they're literally taking calls all day long. And many people that call them, call them up screaming at them, call them up yelling, cursing, the whole nine yards as if the person that is answering the phone is the reason why, you know, their claim is broken. Like guys, that, that, that's, not, that's, that's not, that's not productive. And if you guys approach them from that sense, or they get the sense that you guys are really upset at EDD, which you guys have some very real reasons to be upset at EDD. I've got some very real reasons to be pissed off at, you know, the state of Nevada where I'm getting my claim, you know, sorted out. But every time I talk to a rep, no matter how frustrated I am that my claim has been paid, you know, I, I can't even tell you like the, the, the financial impact that it's you know caused me which i'm sure it's hurt you guys too by them not doing what i think is doing their jobs um okay ag i just got you a call back you're set up at 800 300 5616 keep an eye out for that and let's make sure that you let me know that you got that text okay victor writes you got the text thank you victor um irene writes you're doing great multitasking <laughs> doing my best um let's see what else we have here um okay marky davis i sent my email cool guys i will be checking emails here in a little bit just bear with me danielle writes got the text you're so welcome danielle okay so just be patient and guys like i said if you haven't used claimer before or you haven't been able to talk to edd before please stay on the live stream these are i'm, I'm literally while i'm calling and talking like i'm giving you guys a lot of like inside tips to really help you guys you know, be fully armed with as much knowledge as you can have to get your claims fixed. And it's not just by calling, right? There's other things too that you guys can do. So stick around. Also, if you guys get the call back from EDD and you're on hold, please let us know. We're trying to find out how long this is taking, okay? Because we want to find out how busy it is today. And everybody else wants to know like, hey, how long is this going to take for me to get my call, right? We're all, we're all want to get this going, okay? So keep us posted on what's going on with your claim, okay? All right, let's see who's next. Mr. Abbott, you are next. Okay, Caden, I see your uh, note there. You sent my number in a second email. I'll catch up with you as soon as I can, for sure. And thank you for sending that email. All right, let's see, Mr. Abbott. So, yeah, we're kind of talking about the uh, the the agents, right? And we're we're talking about the fact that, like, you know, despite how frustrated you may be, um, about how they've treated you. Uh, and certainly, you know, you may not like EDD as a whole. And I, I, I get all that. What I really encourage you guys to do, and when I say encourage you, like I strongly encourage you, <laughs> I really encourage you guys to, when they pick up the phone, a lot of times they're pretty, um, I would say they're all about business. Uh, they don't have a very nice tone to their voice. They usually just ask you your name and social and, you know, go from there. Um, the first thing I would tell them actually is when they pick up and they say, you know, what's your name, what's your social? And you say, hey, thank you so much for taking my call. Um, I can't tell you how, me, how much it means to me that you guys are doing so much work in terms of helping people in the state of California, you know. Or you can say something like, hey, I just wanted to thank you. This sounds like this must be a really hard job to answer phone calls, helping unemployed people all day long. I think your job's really important and I just wanted to thank you for that. Thank them, guys. Like seriously, thank them. You may not like EDD, but these are other human beings that are literally, you know, trying, they need a job too, right? And, and they've got a very hard job. So thank them for them doing a hard job, okay? I'm telling you, by doing that right off the bat, ask them, how's your day going? Thank them and ask them, how, how's their day going? You know, they may not give let you get a word in edgewise. They may be all about the business and that's fine, you know, but by thanking them right off the bat, it sets the tone for the conversation. The next thing I highly recommend that you do is that you get their name and address them by their name. You know, um, they say, you know, what's your name? You say, hey, thank you for, you know, the incredible job that you do. It must be hard to take phone calls all day. I just want to let you know, I think it's 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 great what you're doing. Uh, my name is XXY. Here's my social security number if they ask for that. And what's your name? Get their name. And 
like address them by their name. People respond better when you address them by their name. Now I know it's hard to remember people's names when they first tell it to you. So that's why you guys have a pen. You guys have a pen when you're on the phone and you have a piece of paper hand stand by and you write down their name and then you write down what they're telling you. You're not all of it, but you're writing down like what they're telling you is going on with your claim. And I'll talk about that in a little bit about why it's important for you to write down what's going on with your claim. Because, you know, in effect, if you don't know what's going on with your claim, you are at a severe disadvantage and you don't want to be in that place. You really need to know what's going on with your claim because you need to know if a tier one agent can help you or if you need to talk to a tier two agent or you need to talk to your assemblyman. So by knowing what's going on with your claim, you can get more help. And you know you can be more strategic about you know how you're going about getting that help. Okay, uh, Mr. Abbott, I've got you set up. You've got a callback coming. Victor, you're set up. Danielle, please, uh, AG and Mr. Abbott, if you can let me know that you've got your callbacks, that'd be great. Um, Arshok, you are getting your callback next. Yeah, so I'm looking for an update from, okay, Mr. Abbott, you got the text. Thank you, Mr. Abbott. I appreciate it. And uh, keep us posted, please. Let us know when you get that call back, okay? All right, so who's next? Arshak, you are next. 818-631-2357. You know, and also, guys, while I'm, I'm here, um, I just want to give you guys as many resources as you possibly can. You guys are probably all aware of it, but I really encourage you guys to, if in case you have not already done this, please um, go check out, you know, UI Vlogs channel on YouTube. Please go check out Jenny Silver's channel. Um, you know, Shelly's Millions. These are all people that are working in the YouTube space to really put out some important content that helps you guys keep up to date with what's going on with these EDD you know, claim situations. So if you guys have not heard of them, I suggest you go check them out. If you guys have heard of them, I hope you guys are supporting them, you're subscribing to them, um, you guys are leaving comments on their channel. It really helps their channels grow. It helps support them you know, financially. Um, and if you guys like the work that they're doing, and I like the work that they're doing, um, you know, please, like, that's a way that you guys can give back, right? Also, you know, telling people what's going on with your claim, you know, without sharing, you know, personal information, right? That's a huge way to share your information and get that out so other people can know about it. Okay, so Arshak, there's your callback. We've got you one set up. Keep an eye out for that and let me know that you've gotten a callback. All right, April, you're going to be next. It was kind of cool. We actually had uh, Jenny on the channel. Gosh, I think it was last week she dropped in to say hi. Um, yesterday we had UI Vlogs. He stopped in to say hi. Um, so it's it's good, right? We're, you know, like I don't know Jenny personally and I don't know UI Vlogs or Shelly personally, but at least from my perspective, I really respect the work that they're doing. And I really encourage people to, again, to support them because um, I think they're doing really important work in this space. So I hope you guys have heard of them. I hope you guys are supporting them. Um, yeah. And I hope you guys will continue to support them after, you know, maybe your UI claim is done. Because um, again, guys, unemployment is not going anywhere anytime soon. Unfortunately, it is going to be a long-term problem. And, you know, we don't know. I mean, the, these benefits are ending here um, in September, but, you know, <laughs> It's hard to say what's going to happen in the future. So, you know, by supporting people like, you know, UI Vlogs, Ginny, uh, Shelly and all this, and anybody else that really kind of starts working in the YouTube space for unemployment, um, you want to help support them so they're around the next time you guys need help with unemployment. That's really the reality. And hopefully it doesn't happen again. Hopefully you guys never need to use unemployment again. Um, but in case you do, you want people like Ginny, you want people like Shelly, UI Vlogs, or even me you know, still around in a couple years, um, you know, still doing this work. So anyways, I hope you guys keep that in mind. Guys, I'm not really paying attention to comments right now. I'm really just trying to crank out the calls. So bear with me. And, and like I said, what I'm looking down at literally is I'm dialing on my phone. <laughs> so it's a bit of a manual process. 
And for those of you that are looking to get a callback, um, please follow the instructions at the top of the chat box. I pinned a message up there. I need you to email me and let me know that you want a callback. I need you to send a screenshot that you've subscribed to the channel. I do this for my subscribers only. And then send me your name and I need your phone number. If I don't get your phone number, I can't program it, okay? And let me know uh, that you've emailed me, all right? And I will kind of keep an eye on those. We're almost um, at through this first batch of folks here. So um, this is good news. We'll get some more people set up for phone calls in just a couple minutes. Awesome. Okay, so April, we've got your callback done. Uh, Kim, you are going to be next. I'm going to take a break here and grab some water. I'm going to catch up on chats here. Um, okay. Daniel writes, thank you for your help and services, Nick. Really appreciate your work. I've shared your channel with all my friends and family. I'm praying you get your payments and you hit a million subscribers. <laughs> well, yeah, that'd be awesome. Thanks, Daniel. Um, a million subscribers. I mean, yeah, maybe one day. Um, you know, again, like the reason I do this guys is because this is the first job I've ever had that, you know, I believe in what the company's doing. I don't believe the company's ripping people off. Uh, we are not a venture funded company out of the Bay Area. Uh, my brother, you know, isn't going to do that. Um, we have a very, very small company. There's not many employees here. We've kept our prices as low as we possibly can. Um, you know, it's, it's a cool company to work for because I actually believe in the work that we do. A lot of people understandably don't like the fact they have to use a third party service to, uh, you know, reach EDD, but you know, it's, if your time and is, is worth anything, you know, it's valuable there. I think the other thing that a lot of people kind of struggle with, and I, you know, the way that I view it, it's like, you guys can file your taxes for free, whether you're, you know, yourself or you're a multinational corporation, but you know, you pay third parties all the time to file your taxes to help you. You use TurboTax, you use H&R Block, you hire a CPA, you know, this is in the same realm and line. You guys, you know, consider using a third party like Claimer, you know, who doesn't rip you guys off, who gives you a ton of callbacks, who's there to support you guys through this process. You know, it's really no different than what you'd pay somebody to, you know, help you get your taxes done, which is, again, you can do that for free. So that's why I like doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm really not in it for a million subscribers. That would be awesome, but I don't know if that's going to happen super fast. Okay, let's take a look here. April, thank you for confirming that you got the text message. I appreciate it. Yeah, Daniel writes a good point. Uh, everyone, please share how long your claim has been pending for. He was pending for 16 weeks. So yeah, guys, if you guys have been pending for a long time, um, please, would you mind sharing that? Just kind of helps everybody else out, kind of know like, well, maybe you've been waiting for a long time like Daniel. He waited 16 weeks to be pending and he got paid, I think it was either today or yesterday. So you know, just kind of guys all realize like we're different people, different parts of California, different parts of the country, whatever, but we're all in the same boat here. Um, so yeah. All right, Kim, let me get your call set up here. April writes, thank you so much, Nick. I'll be messaging you as we go along. Thank you, April. I appreciate that. That's exactly what I'm looking for, guys. Irene writes, Talk to others as you would want to be talked to. Kindness and respect. Uh, love it. Talk to you as you would talk to your grandma in church. Grateful tips. Responding to an individual easily. Yeah, Irene. Like, yeah, I, I hope I hope some of the stuff helps. I mean, some of it might sound tacky, um, but it's genuine. It's it's it, it works, guys. Um, you know, it doesn't mean it's easy, right, to be nice when you're upset about things, but um, it really makes a difference in terms of getting you know help with your claim. All right, so Mister. Sorry, Kim, I'm getting your call set up right now. Looks like we've got a bunch of chats that just came through. So I'm selecting California. And I guess the other thing too, guys, is like I said, you know, if you guys want to help me, and if you don't, that's okay. Um, you know, please like write in the live stream, like write in the comments on the YouTube, like whether or not you liked, you know, getting the free call, whether you didn't like it. Um, you know, did you like I don't know. Do you like me? Do you think I'm a scam? Like I, all, all your comments are valid, right? Uh, if you guys have some ways and ideas on how I can improve and do better, I'm open for it. I really am. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here to try and get better um, and help you guys over the long term. Uh, Claimer isn't going to be going anywhere. Um, we're just not. 
And, you know, I don't plan on going anywhere because again, I really like what I do. So, you know, guys like realize like you, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting, right. To actually develop a relationship with somebody that works for Claimer, um, you know, like I, <laughs> I'm, I'm here for you guys. And I, at, you know, I, I have your best interest at heart, which means, you know, I want to see you guys get paid. I don't want you guys to use Claimer 50 times. Uh, if contacting your assembly member is a better way to go, I will tell you that any day of the week. All right. Um, I also keep up with other news, right? Like what's come out over the past couple of days with the conditional payments that EDD has been, uh, well, effectively forced into because of this lawsuit. Um, you know, I will tell you right then, like you guys are in good shape, you know, going that route. So, you know, keep in mind, like I will always, always steer you guys good information. I will never, um, I won't steer you guys wrong. It's just, I worked for a company, uh, before I used to work for Microsoft and it was a pretty toxic work environment. And I just, I won't work in toxic work environments and I won't work for companies that lie. Um, you know, those are just some of my like things that I need to have, um, as I move forward. And I think, you know, building trust, right. It's, it's so important. Okay. Kim, I've got you set up. Uh, you've got a callback. So let me know if you got that text that's coming from 800, 300, 5616. Okay. Let's keep an eye on the chats. Let's see what we got here. UI vlogs. Thank you. We have overwhelming positive feedback about Claimer from our viewers. Your channel's providing a valuable service. Hey guys. So yeah, I was just talking about UI vlogs earlier. Uh, Ginny and Shelly and everybody else that's in the U in the in the you know unemployment space in California. Um, you know, please thank you, UI vlogs, for coming in and you know joining again. I did see your email, UI vlogs. I'll need to respond to that. Um, yeah. I'll, I'm not very happy about, you know, someone trying to impersonate me, but I think this is kind of an issue in the space. But as I was telling everybody else that's, you know, in the live stream today, um, you know, please like make sure that you're supporting these other creators in this space um, and not just for today. Like, you know, I understand that you guys' claims might get paid here soon, but, you know, keep an eye on, you know, supporting people like UI Vlogs and Shelly and Jenny, because again, you know, unemployment is going to come and go for everyone. You know, you may never be unemployed again. Let's hope that's the case, but you might be. And by kind of keeping, you know, people like UI Vlogs and all these other creators that are in the space, you know, supported through their channel by, you know, watching their videos, it, it helps support them. So they keep making content. They keep staying, you know, apprised of what's currently happening in the, U in, in the UI space. So I really encourage you guys to do that. Um, again, I think they're all coming from a, the, the right place. Um, you know, they won't steer you wrong. All right. So thanks you. I vlogs. I appreciate that comment. That's very kind. Chris writes. Yeah, I was pending for four weeks. Awesome, Chris. So yeah, Chris got paid guys. Uh, he was pending for four weeks. Uh, he, he got it set up by contacting a tier two rep, uh, over the phone. And that was actually, I believe it was yesterday. Uh, Chris, and thank you so much for giving us that feedback. Right. Again, you guys are hearing, right. There is a time difference between when you talk to a tier one rep and the hold time that you get connected to a tier two rep, they can be pretty, pretty long. He was waiting for four hours, but you know, it was worth it in the end. He actually got his claim switched over from pending to paid by talking to a tier two EDD employee, right? And sometimes you're gonna need that depending on what's going on with your claim. Okay, let's take a look at some more emails here. Uh, Alex writes, I have not, I have one not paid payment since March. Need to make sure that I got paid. Okay, Alex, sounds good. I hope you sent me an email, Alex. Um, yeah, hope you send me an email and we'll get you a call back if you want that today. Okay. G town writes, you are doing great. I had a successful channel before YouTube took it down. I think people like to see real people. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm really sorry to hear that your channel got took down. Um, yeah, I, I hope mine doesn't either. <laughs> so you know, if, if it happens, it happens. But um, I'm sorry to hear about that. Our shock writes, you're obviously not a scam. You're doing a great job. Thank you. That's very kind. Thanks, our shock. Um, and guys, like I said, for anybody that is uh, getting these callbacks this morning, please let me know when EDD calls you back. It should be happening pretty soon, um, especially for Lisa, Doug, and Victor. You guys should be getting callbacks pretty soon because I think we started these calls around nine, nine o'clock. Um, let's see. G Town writes, I've watched those channels, which are very helpful. Yeah, I mean, I think they're fantastic. Um, Arshak writes, how long does it take to get a text? Um, you should get a text pretty soon, Arshak. But if you haven't gotten one, um, let me know in about 
I don't know, another, let's see, you were number seven. Um, did it look like I punched in your phone number correctly, Arshak? Because sometimes the text doesn't come through for some reason. You know, if I'm if I'm firing off a lot of calls like this, um, just let me know if you don't get a call back here and I will set you up with another call back. It's possible that I didn't uh, do that correctly. All right. Let's see what we go here. Lightflex writes, off topic, but your mic sounds great. What brand is it? Oh, hey, thanks for the compliment. Um, it is a, what is this mic? Well, I'll be honest, my mic is a noise canceling. Well, it's not a noise canceling. It is a Behringer uh, BA85A with a Triton Fet head to help because I've got a lot of noise in my house. There's a lot of airplanes that fly over. I've got my cooler that's running. And so I was getting a lot of noise distortion. Um, I'm also using a Behringer Euphoria UM2. That's a amplifier. I think it's an amplifier. And basically it helps collect all the noise. I have to talk into the microphone and yeah, um, seems to help. So there's a whole lot of great YouTube videos out on that. My first couple of YouTube videos were pretty rough <laughs> to say the least. I was pretty nervous. Uh, getting in front of all of you guys and also the audio was pretty pretty bad too but uh, yeah I encourage anybody to get a YouTube channel up and going it's a lot of fun um, and it helps you with your public speaking you know and helps you build confidence in that okay guys I'm almost going to start doing email so let me just read through the comments and I'll catch up and we'll do this all right Marky writes okay hang tight guys you guys are commenting really quick let me catch up Arshak writes, how long does it take to get a text? Okay, Arshak, I covered that. G-Town writes, I watched those channels, which are helpful. Yep, awesome. Asia writes, not sure if my email went through, but I can resend it if you need me to. Asia, please resend it just really quick. Um, it helps just keep your email like kind of on the top of the stack. Um, please send that really fast. G-Town writes, wait, who is pretending to be you or are they impersonating you? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I just got an email from UI Vlogs. He's kind enough to let me know that there's some other channel like in person. I mean, I haven't had a chance to look into it. I mean, there's only one me, <laughs> but uh, I think it's a scam. So I have to look into that. Um, I, I don't know. I think this is kind of a problem with people. I think Jenny's had that problem. I'm sure UI Vlogs has. He was just kind enough to let me know. Um, okay, Joe Alman. Joe writes pending for 42 months or four to, four to two months. I'm not sure. That's a long time. Marky writes, I emailed you. Okay, Marky, I'll keep an eye out for that. TR writes, hey, Teresa, good to see you again. You were on the live stream yesterday, waiting on a tier two, 1.5 hours now. Okay, guys, so just keep in mind, we've got some people that are in the live stream that were on yesterday that are in the live stream today that are kind of giving us some updates. So thank you for giving us that update, Teresa. I hope that your connection goes through. She's saying that waiting for a tier uh, two rep, an EDD employee is taking her right now an hour and a half and she's still on hold. So keep that in mind. Um, Tamoy Hicks, I've been waiting for eight weeks and I emailed you. Okay, Tamoy, sounds good. I'll check my emails in just a minute and I hope we can get you set up today. Um, G Town writes, it's okay, I'm political. <laughs> All right, Teresa writes, hope you read my email late yesterday regarding the comments requested. Um, Teresa, I may have missed your email. Um, I will take a look at that if I can. Joe writes, spoke with a tier two four times already and nothing. Joe, if you've spoken with a tier two four times already and nothing, I'm kind of curious what's going on with your claim. If you have a an appeal, uh, if you've got something else going on, but I would also recommend if you've already kind of gone that route, Joe, I'm happy to get you another call today, uh, you know, get you to try and connect it. But I would recommend that you contact your assemblyman right now. That whole thing has completely changed over the last two weeks. And if you're having difficulty with your claim, I think that's probably one of the best options out there right now. They have EDD staffers that are working in the assemblyman offices. So um, if you haven't done that recently or you haven't done it all, please do that now and attack it from all angles. All right. Hey, Andrew. Good morning. Good to see you. Andrew's a uh, friend of mine. He comes into the channel quite often, which is cool. Um, he says, hey, Nicholas, good morning. Dropped in to say hi and thank you for helping so many people. Do you know how... Do you know the EDD is supposed to be pay the pending now, conditional payment and what it's called? Yeah, so what what that is, guys, is... <laughs> so, all right. 
I'll try and keep this short. In Washington, D.C., you have what's called the Federal Department of Labor, short for the DOL, right? And they are responsible for these federal programs that we're all benefiting from in terms of unemployment, right? So this is extensions. This is PEUC, the $300 a week, right? Like normal unemployment, I think in most states only goes like 13 to 26 weeks. I mean, we're, we're coming up on like 70 plus weeks, you know, for many people. So this is all federal stimulus money that, that's come in, right? And that's all governed by the Department of Labor. Well, it turns out that the Department of Labor put out some guidance, okay, that stated like, if you shut off payments for somebody and you don't tell them exactly like why they shut off payments and, you know, you get those payments like fixed or, you know, you basically have a, a clear method of communication. And I'm doing a really bad job of paraphrasing this. I think Jenny did a great video on this. So go watch her stuff or go, you know, Shelly's probably done a great one. I'm just giving you what I know. Basically what ended up happening was is that the EDD was sued because they were found to be acting against these Department of Labor, these federal regulations. Then EDD is dispersing federal money, right? EDD was working against these federal regulations that had come out under what they call UIPLs. And what happened was there was a, an outfit, and I apologize, I don't know the name of it. Um, there's an outfit, I think they're a nonprofit uh, law uh, firm in, in, in the state of California, and I'm sorry if I've totally butchered that. Um, they sued the, the, they sued EDD and they settled out of court. Um, and you know, this is really, they weren't trying to sue EDD to get money from them. They sued them to try and, and change how they've been doing these funds and how they've been putting people into pending and then making them wait weeks or months and not getting them any, you know, fast recourse, right? Like phone interviews are taking 14 weeks. This is crazy to shut off someone's you know, unemployment benefits because they need to have a phone interview, like, and it takes 14 weeks to do that. So anyways, because of that lawsuit that was, you know, settled last week, and they're still working through all this, EDD is now doing the following. This is how it works. If your claim by EDD, no matter what type of claim you have, PUA, PEUC, regular UI, so on and so forth, if your claim has been paid one week or more in the past, and you've had two weeks that have been pending or more, okay? you will now be put into this conditional payment program. And what that is, is that you guys will actually receive all of your money from back pay to you know, moving forward through September 4th under this conditional program. So this is huge, right? Like this came out, they started processing this last week on Friday the 23rd. Every day they're making new batches. They're identifying new people that fall into that category, one week paid, two weeks pending or more, and they're paying people because they have to now. It's part of this agreement. Now they're doing this in batches and we don't know how fast this is going to happen, right? But that's the conditional payment program. So they're paying people now and they're going to continue to investigate. Like if you need to do a phone interview and they pay you today, you still have to do a phone interview, guys. You still have to be found eligible. If they find that you're not eligible, they will put you in what's called overpayments. If you're in overpayments, they want you to pay that money back. There's a way to potentially get out of the overpayments and that's through financial hardship, but you have to be found that you did not commit fraud or that you know you didn't uh, you 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 are deserving of these payments through no fault of your own, aka you know COVID impacted you or you know you lost your job through no fault of your own. So there's some conditions around getting this money. That's why it's called conditional payments, right? You still have to be found eligible. It's not just like okay, we're just going to pay everybody. They're going to pay a lot of people that have been in the backlog for a long time, and they're going to. Uh, pay them fairly quickly from the data it looks like, okay? All right, so with that said, I'm gonna chat, uh, look into chat comments and then we're gonna do emails really quick. Hey, IK, IKBTV, thanks for the comment, I appreciate that. How's your claim going, man? I know that you, um, I know that you were in the live stream yesterday. I was curious to see if you got your claim fixed or you know where you're at with that. Victor writes, still waiting for a phone call from EDD. Yeah, guys, it sounds like it's taking some time. I still haven't heard from Lisa or Doug, and Victor, you are number three. So guys, the callbacks are busy Monday through Wednesday in the mornings. We try and do a little bit earlier today. Hopefully the callbacks will be faster, but there's a lot of people are calling EDD. Claimer doesn't jam the phone lines, guys. They don't send a million phone calls. Uh, on average, Claimer calls about 15 to 20 times to get your connection made. Um, and they, they and the reason you know that they do that, right, is because if you know they call a million times, they're screwing everyone else over for starters and two they're also screwing themselves 
And, I, and I'm literally like the more calls that claim replaces, they're actually competing against themselves. So that's how the, their technology works. Um, that also means that there's a little bit longer hold time, right? Like or a little a longer wait time to get that connection back from EDD. Okay. All right. Let's else we have here. G Town writes the ME you see goes back to December. Yes, that is correct. Kim writes, hi, this is Kim. I got the text before you went for a water. Did you connect me? I keep hearing my name and you were busy talking. Yeah, Kim, so if you got the text, that's just confirming that we've placed the order for you, okay? EDD is now calling on your, sorry, Claimer is now calling EDD on your behalf, all right? So once you get the text, that's the first thing that you're letting you know that you, that EDD, sorry, that Claimer's calling for you, but you now need to wait for Claimer to get you that connection. That's what everybody else is waiting for right now. Okay. IKBTV writes, they got me paid yesterday. Congratulations, man. Um, so guys, everyone, uh, IKBTV, I forget your real name, but you were part of the live stream yesterday. We got you set up with the calls. You got through clearly. I was curious if you talked to one agent or if you talked to the tier two agent, IKBTV, uh, but you're paid today. So congratulations. Like guys, this is, this is it. I mean, it works. It doesn't work 100% for everybody, but it works most of the time if you're persistent. Okay, I think we're getting there. We're caught up. Arshak, I was following the number you plugged in. It looks like it was correct. 2357 was the last four digits. Yeah, Arshak, I wouldn't stress too much. Like, once we start pe seeing people get callbacks, um, like, sometimes the texts don't show up. And, you know, I, like I said, if it looks like I put the number in correctly, that happens from time to time. Just be patient. Um, I will, no matter what, I will get you another callback if it doesn't, if you don't get a callback here, you know, in the next hour or so, but just, just be patient. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll come through for you. Okay. Woke tree. I purchased claimer at 823 this morning. I got a callback from California EDD at 927. I am hold. I'm on hold now with EDD. Thank you. Woke tree for dropping in that comment. Um, thank you for purchasing claimer. Um, guys, this is important. So he, did his callbacks at 8.23. He got a call back about an hour later. So that might be how long it's taking to get through to EDD today. Um, guys, it's just part of the waiting game, right? It's It takes time to, to reach EDD, whether you're using Claimer. But the thing about Claimer is it works, right? Like you know that they're working on your behalf in the background. While I'm sitting here talking, they're literally calling on your guys' behalf, okay? All right, so thanks for that comment, Woke Tree, and please let me know how that goes for you. Vanessa writes, EDD is automatically paying the pending due to some, due to them having to mow. Some have said some of the weeks are paid, but not all. Are they paying in blocks of phases? Yeah, that's what I understand. They're paying them out. Uh, they can't pay everybody in one day. They're paying them out, uh, you know, in, in phases or in waves. So that's my understanding. It's just a question of when they're going to get to you. Um, G Town writes, I think it's I think it's therapeutic. All right. Imagine being K. Back pay date for Cali and how long do they take to respond? Um, I'm not gonna take the question on the back pay date because I'm not super experienced with California's backdating. I know it's dangerous. It's dangerous to backdate. Um, I personally don't think you want to backdate unless your claim is effectively ended. My personal recommendation on backdating is don't backdate until you have received your final payment on uh, the week of September 4th. You want to keep everything the status quo now, unless your claim is really messed up and they're not paying you and you know that by backdating you would get more. Otherwise, I would wait to get backdate pay until after they finish your claim on September 4th. That's my recommendation there. Okay. Can I sign up and help people get through? Um, hey, IK, 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 BTV. Sorry, it's hard to pronounce this. Um, let me know on the email. Maybe can I send up and help people get through? Um, yeah, let me know. Let's talk over email. And also guys too, if you guys get through and you got paid, if you guys would like to do an interview with me, like a phone interview and like pay it forward, um, that would be really helpful for the YouTube channel. It'd be really helpful, honestly, for a lot of other people out there to like hear that calling works, hear how you guys, you know, got your claim paid, kind of what was going on with your claim. So I've got a couple of people that I need to contact. Um, I think, so there's Chris got paid, um, IKBTV, if you're interested. And guys, it's just like a five, 10 minute interview. You don't have to do anything fancy. You can do it with your phone. Um, it's just talking about your, your unemployment claim. And you know, if you're willing to, I'd put it up on YouTube and you guys would share out what's going on with your claim. It would help a lot of people that are still just like kind of giving up hope. Um, and if you don't want to do it, it's totally fine too. All right. 
Joe writes, already did. Okay, cool. I think that means you already talked to your assemblyman. Joe, let's get your call set up. And I hate to say it, man, just got to keep keep calling these folks. Unless, again, you've got a, a claim situation that can't be fixed. Um, the only claim situation that can't be fixed from what I've seen is an appeal. All right, Kim writes, hello, I haven't gotten the text yet from the 800 number. How long it takes, please? Did I? Did you put my phone number correctly? Should I email you my phone number again? Um, Kim, be patient. Uh, the phone number I used was 408 for you. I used 408-646-7051. Um, hope that's the right number. Just be patient on the text. Sometimes they go through, sometimes they don't. All right, Joe writes, I've used all my resources already and I'm having no success. I've done everything I can. I'm exhausted, just like my benefits. I hear you, Joe. Um, let's get you set up with a callback and you know see if we can help you out here, man. Um, you know, keep, keep the faith. Uh, G Town writes, I haven't heard back from when I do. I'll let you know. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. Um, got everything done yesterday from IKBTV. Awesome. Linda writes, You did a good job on the descriptions of the conditional payments. Thank you, Linda. Um, yeah, it'll be in batches as some claimants have some weeks are paid out, yet some aren't. So it's a waiting game, it looks like. Thanks, Linda, for confirming that. Yeah, guys, I'm not an expert in this stuff. I'm doing my best. Um, that's kind of what I was able to read from the San Francisco Chronicle article. Um, so yeah. All right, guys, let's see here. What's my cash app? Um, I don't know what you mean by my cash app. I don't use cash app. Marky Davis, okay, Arshak, okay, okay, thank you. As I see the text is secondary, the important thing is to get the actual call, no worries. Yeah, that's the key, Arshak, is to get these texts. Okay, Gina writes, good morning, thank you for the update. I have two more than two weeks pending. I tried calling for the past two weeks. I didn't get no answer. What more is there to do? Gina, send me an email. It sounds like you were caught up as part of the quarterly review that started about uh, two weeks ago. You probably have a really easy fix on your claim that can be fixed by a tier one agent, the first person that you talk to. Um, and you'll probably get your claim paid, assuming that's the problem, very quickly. So send me an email if you haven't already done that. The instructions are at the top of the uh, chat box here. Woke Tree just writes, I'm now waiting on hold for a tier two agent. She said my back pay weeks still haven't been processed. My last two weeks are waiting to verify information. Thank you, Woke Tree. So guys, um, this is huge, right? Like she's, or Woke Tree is telling us that they are, she's now been, or he, I don't know. Woke Tree has been transferred over to a tier two agent. So guys, just be aware that you might need to uh, speak to a tier two agent. And I expect Woke Tree will be uh, there for you know quite some time waiting on hold today. Okay. Uh, G-Town writes, being on YouTube and figuring out a channel is therapeutic. Yeah, for sure. Hey, LNV, I see you. I do have your, uh, I, I, I see you, but you emailed me, but I didn't get your phone number, man. Um, he emailed me, but I didn't get a phone number. So can you please email me again with your phone number? Okay, guys, I'm going to get going here. Let's get some more calls going. Uh, I know it's been long enough. So let's get those set up. Rosalie writes, what if I had a phone number you but never got a call? Okay, yeah, so that's actually pretty common, Rosalie, that they set up a phone interview, but then they don't, um, they don't actually call. I've, I've read that that happens quite a bit. So usually what that means is that they found nothing was wrong with your claim and that they're they're, they're just gonna fix your claim and, and pay you. Um, if that's not what's happened, I recommend that you get a call and you need to talk with somebody right away. Okay, let's get caught up on this. Caden, you were the first one to come back. Thank you, Caden. I've got your email now. And guys, as I'm going to be writing off these, reading off these names, what I need you to do is I'm going to need you to check in via the chat box in case I don't recognize your email. So Caden, I recognize you. You're going to be number one. Ramek, nope, that's for Georgia. Kyle Wheatley, I see you. You've been in the chat box. You've checked in. Thank you, Kyle. I'm getting you a call back now. Okay, you're gonna be number two, Kyle. Uh, let's see what we've got here. I've got Amazing Grace or Tina. Tina, can you please check in really fast to the chat box? Uh, I'm looking for Tina. And again, if your YouTube name is different than Tina, please let me know. Okay, Lightflex. Okay, I've got an email from Lightflex or Rick. Um, 
please check in to the uh, YouTube channel, or sorry, please check into the chat box and let me know. I'm looking for Lightflex or Rick. It's just easier for me, guys, to not use your um, YouTube names, like if, if, if it's different. So help me out there if you can. And guys, I'm writing down these these numbers right now so I can get them programmed. I really appreciate your guys' patience today. I know I've talked a lot today. Um, we're going to spend some time cranking these out. Um, all right, looks like I've got an email from Rachel. Rachel, please check in. Um, I haven't seen you check in yet, and that's, that's okay. Um, no worries. Rachel, please check in and let me know that you're in the chat box, and I'll get you a call back. Okay, I see Marky. Marky, I know you've checked in. So I've got your email. And you're going to be number three, just because I know you checked in already. And guys, be patient, right? Like, don't worry about the order of the calls, okay? I'm just, it, it helps me just kind of keep things organized. Curtis, I've got an email from you. Please check into the chat box that you're here. Three, four, eight, three, one, five, two, four. Cool. Um, okay, Asia, Asia, I have your email and I've seen that you've checked in. Thank you, Asia. You're going to be number four, Asia. All right. Uh, let's see, Alex. I'm looking for Alex. Alex, can you please check into the chat box? I've got your email and I've got your phone number. Awesome. Uh, okay, Rachel. Okay, I've already got you, Rachel. Uh, Tamoy, I see you, Tamoy. I saw your comment earlier, so I've, let me get your number here really quick. And you're going to be number four, Tamoy. Uh, Asia, I've already got... Nope, Asia, you're... Sorry, Asia, you're number four. Tamoy, you're number five. Um, <laughs> LHL General. I got someone screaming help in their email. All right, Miguel. Miguel, if you are in the chat... Uh, please write your name, Miguel, in the chat for me, please. And guys, while I'm writing this stuff down, any of you that have gotten uh, callbacks, when I say callbacks, any of you that have gotten uh, the text messages, can you please let me know if you've heard anything from EDD, if you've gotten those callbacks yet? I'm just trying to find out if anybody's actually heard from EDD. We're trying to find out how long the hold time is to have claimer reach uh, people. Okay, so Miguel, please check in. I've got one a request from Liliana. Liliana, please write your name into the chat box and let me know that you're here. Okay, I've got Bobby. Okay, Bobby, I see that you sent me an email, bud, but I need you to actually send me your, your phone number, okay? Um, I need your phone number so I can program it into Claimer so I can get you that connected, okay? So, Bobby, I'll keep an eye out for that. Just send me another email, Bobby, with your phone number. Hey, Joe, I see your phone number. And you're going to be number six, Joe, because I've already recognized you there. All right. Eight, nine, nine, six, nine. And Liliana. Okay, cool. All right, guys, that's it on emails. Um, that's a pretty good dose. Or not dose, it's a pretty good amount of people. All right, let me go back through here. Um, cool. Okay, so let's see if I can find everybody. Okay, hang on, guys. Um, let me see. All right. Hang on, guys. I got to catch up on chats here. Okay. Okay. Ellen V, like I said, you emailed me yesterday, but please send me another email. I didn't see your phone number, my friend. Um, okay. 
797-9311. You helped me out yesterday. Thanks. I stayed on hold for two hours. Find us talked finally talked to someone. They cleared it up. Hey, that's awesome. Did they actually is your claim paid? And if it's not paid, use more of those callbacks and be talking to people. Just because they clear something up and you don't see traction on your claim, you know, you move from pending to paid. I I, I really suggest you guys keep calling, guys. Um, so let me know if you got paid. Vanji writes, my husband was pending for like three months. Use the contact the assembly option, assembly man option. And now I see the weeks are getting paid. Assembly man is a good way to go. 100% guys, like I said, if you need to attack this from all angles, you can try using the calling process that I'm going through here. I really 100% encourage you. If you guys have the time while you're waiting here on this live stream, find out who your, uh, your, your uh, assembly member is. And actually what I'm going to do here really quick, I'm going to get you guys a um a link on how to find your assembly member all right so you guys can literally be doing this while you're waiting for me or for edd to call you back and i want you guys to do this because again so many people are getting great results now that edd has staffed edd representatives inside the assemblyman's offices like they're literally working in their offices um, which is kind of crazy. So, you know, we're getting some great results from that. Here is that link. And let me just put it here. How to find your assembly. Man. Um, the website that says it's not secure, but everybody's using it. So I recommend that you try it. Okay. Let me catch up here. Marky, I'm still here. Okay, Marky. Marky, yep, you're number three. No sweat. Um, YouTube players are a lot of help. Yeah, agree. I hear you, devil. I keep you to be. I love what you're doing, bro. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Joe, I got your email. You're connected. Uh, LNV, I emailed you. My email is... Okay, I'll double check this in just a second, um, LNV. Hang, hang tight. Dewan Hendricks, uh, I emailed... Dewan, I don't see your name. Um, and again, guys, let me just go through this list really quick. I'm looking for Tina. I see Rick Lightflex. Uh, I'm looking for Rachel. Looking for Curtis. I'm looking for Alex, Miguel, Liliana, or and Bobby, you didn't send me an email. So if any of you are those people, please put your name in the chat box right now. Okay, guys, congrats. We've got some good news here. So G-Town talks counter Intel. I just got a call from EDD and am on hold. So you were our first caller, and I think that was at 9.55, so seven minutes ago. So that took a little bit less than an hour for Claimer to get you connected, guys. So that's how long it's taking, All right? So you guys have to realize, if you haven't heard or used Claimer before, there's, there's a process to this. I'm going to place your order with Claimer, and then there's going to be a period where Claimer has to call EDD, okay? It takes some time. Right now, today, because the phone lines are very busy and they always are early in the week, it's going to take potentially up to an hour to get through, okay? And once you guys get through, you're going to need to stay on hold. Claimer does not get you in contact with an agent. You get yourself in contact with an agent. You use Claimer to get through the busy phone lines and get on the hold line, okay? So again, uh, Lisa is our first confirmed person that she's gotten the call back from Claimer. And that's all Claimer guarantees that it can do. It guarantees that it will make sure that you get through the hold line. It does not guarantee that you'll talk to an agent. It does not guarantee that you'll fix your claim. But if you listen to my live stream and you listen to my, my, my tips, I can help you guys get your claim paid by showing you the strategy and you know basically the tips that you'll need to do to navigate the phone system and talk to the agents as many times as you need to to get your claims fixed, okay? So that's where I come in, right? I can help you with that. And you guys just need to know the information. That's really all this is. Okay. More chats here. Okay, Miguel, I see you there. You're number seven. Lightflex, Rick, I see you. You're number eight. Uh, Kim Ho, hello, you just explained, but I haven't gotten a text from the 800, but I got a text from Claimer. Yeah, you're not going to get a text from the 800 number, guys. You're going to get a phone call from the 800 number. It, Kim, if you've gotten the text from Claimer, that means that Claimer is still calling, Okay. Um, I know it sounds a little confusing. So here's how it works, right? What I do is I punch in your phone number and I order the call from you from Claimer. You guys hopefully get a text message from Claimer. That lets you know that I put the number in correctly and it lets you know that Claimer's calling EDD. Once 
Claimer gets the connection with EDD for you. They forward that connection back to your phone and that's the 800 300 5616. That's EDD calling you back. And then you guys are directly on hold with EDD waiting to talk to an agent. Okay, that's how it works. All right, let's see. Raul Valdez, I'm having trouble contacting a live EDD agent. What's the best time to call him? Um, I think later in the week, Raul, is, later, is, is better. Uh, later in the week, later in the afternoon, um, I got a couple of videos where I put out a free version of like how to call. It seems to work pretty well, like later in the week in the mornings, actually. Um, try that out. You know, you dial the number and then you press one, three, two, and it seems to work before noon in the mornings. Um, or you can use claim or show up to live stream. If you want to call, call Raul, I'll give you one today. Uh, just send me an email and follow the instructions at the top of the chat box. All right. Hi, this is Pooh. I sent you yesterday, email yesterday. Hey, uh, Pooh, I don't, I don't see your email. You may have emailed me. Send me another one, okay? All right. Victor writes, wait for a phone call from 1-800. That is from the EDD. Thanks, Victor. Okay, Dewan Hendricks, that's me, Curtis. Okay, Curtis, I do see you here. You are going to be number nine. Cool. I'm still looking for Tina and Rachel. And Alex. Okay, Alex, I see you there. You've checked in. You're going to be number 10. Cool. We're almost done, guys. I'm checking everybody in. <laughs> G-Town writes, this is the first time I've been in hold. I've been on hold in six months. Congratulations. I mean, it sucks to be on hold, but at least you're on hold. So, um, hey, guys, again, really quick, a tip. Lisa, press nine every 10 minutes or so. It seems to help the disconnects, okay? Guys, the disconnects are a real thing. You know, we're all like, oh my gosh, if I can just get on hold with EDD, I'll be good. You have no idea the fact that there are so many people that are getting disconnected by EDD. This is EDD's phone system. It's very old. And when so many people call in, they start kicking people off. They literally just, they hang up while you've been waiting on hold. And people wait on hold for hours sometimes. So if that happens, that's where Claimer comes in and helps you again. They help you with those callbacks, right? Those callbacks, you get 10 callbacks. You guys like, literally, because I'm purchasing these callbacks for you on my phone today, you guys get, and it, sh and it shows you there in the text, you get 10 callbacks in 48 hours after I purchase it. So you guys get to keep calling EDD as many times as you want, up to 10 times over the next 48 hours. And I recommend you do this. You contact these guys as much as you possibly can until you reach somebody that says, hey, I know how to fix your claim. I can get it done over the phone. Here it is. That's, that's the power of the callbacks. Okay, and I'll talk a little bit more about the callbacks once we get a little farther in the live stream. All right, I'm still looking for Tina and Rachel. I'm almost caught up on comments. Okay, Caden writes, thanks. I think my issue can be fixed by a tier one person. My payments have been pending for two weeks. I don't know why they stopped, but it was after they sent the new message regarding work. Yeah, Caden, I'll bet you anything. It's probably the quarterly review. It's a super easy fix. If you've only been pending the last two weeks, you can probably get it done with a tier one rep and you should be good to go uh, really quick. So let's keep uh, holding that. All right, Pooh writes, hey, hey, Pooh. Pooh, send me another email. Um, yeah, Pooh, if you sent me an email yesterday, I might've missed it. Just send me another one today, okay? And I'll definitely get you taken care of today. I saw you in the live stream yesterday. Send me another one with your phone number. It puts it back at the top of the list, okay? Doug says, I'm still waiting. Doug, um, what are you still waiting for? Are you still waiting for a call? And if so, um, I sent a call out to a Doug. Maybe there's another Doug in the live stream. Doug, if you're still waiting for another call, please send me another email, okay? Put your number right at the top and just say, I'm at the live stream. Um, just let me know. All right. Okay, LNV, Liliana. I do have you, LNV. You are number 10. Thank you for checking in. I did get your number. <laughs> we finally got connected. All right, Victor, he's giving us an update. Still waiting for a phone call from EDD. Irene writes, got through 20 minutes ago this morning, was told EDD puts in a new claim, now on hold with EDD. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for that update, Irene. I really appreciate it. Joe writes, thank you. You're welcome, Joe. Uh, fully auto Rex. You sent me one yesterday. Um, yeah, guys, if I missed your email yesterday, look, I get hundreds of emails. So just send me another one during the live stream and I'll check it again, okay? Just send me another one and I will, I'll, I'll get I'll pick it up. Yeah, a 797-931 recommends, make sure you stay on hold. Yeah, guys, like, 
EDD offers this callback service. Um, you know, Victor says it works. Uh, I personally, I, I'm not saying it doesn't work. My personal opinion is this, like you guys have been waiting a long time to get on hold, like take advantage of it, take advantage of the callbacks, stay on hold. Uh, don't, don't, don't have them call you back. I personally don't recommend it, but you know, again, if, if you feel like you don't have the time to stay on hold, you can try it. Um, but I personally think being on hold is better. You know, it's definitely more reliable than waiting for them to call you back. Okay. Seven, nine, seven, nine, three, one, one. Awesome. You're paid. Congratulations. I think you're number five or six that got paid from yesterday. Um, Hey, seven, nine, seven, nine, three, one, one. For anyone that gets paid, if you would be interested, I'm, I'm looking for people that'd be willing to do an interview. Uh, just a quickly, you know, it's a quick casual phone interview. I'd love to just get your, you know, story about how you got your claim fixed, kind of what you went through. Um, and any tips and tricks you can share with people. It's kind of a way of paying it forward. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with it, that's totally fine. But if you are interested in doing that, just send me another email, um, you know, and just say, hey, I'd like to do an interview and pay it forward. Um, if you don't, I totally get it. But thanks for letting me know that you got paid. And at a minimum, guys, you know, please come in and let me know on the live stream um, that you got paid. Uh, when I say that, like after the live stream ends, you know, come back over the comments, you know, come out and help out in the channel itself, you know, just drop some comments like, hey, uh, the live stream helped. I got paid. Uh, that really seems to help. Okay, thanks. Yeah, Pooh, I will get you today for sure. I just need you to send me another email. All right. Do, do, do. Hey, I've been hold. Mine's been holding for three months, Miguel. Okay. Hey, Pooh, I do see your comments. Okay. Um, like I said, I need you to send me another email, bud. Victor Lamb, check your history section on UI online to make sure your payments got changed from pending to paid. Yeah, guys, that's a huge tip. All right, guys, uh, they keep coming back and talking something about unemployment. 797931 said they got through pressing nine. Sorry, confused one. Yeah, Lisa, you're not confusing anyone. That's just when you're on hold, you need to keep pressing nine. That's a recommendation that a lot of our users have. That's something I share with people. Just keep pressing nine about every 10 minutes. It seems to help the disconnects. Uh, Doug, please send me another email if uh, you need a call. I, I may have missed your email, okay? Rich Noble Reactor, I haven't gotten a call yet. Um, Rich, I don't know if I've called for you, my friend. So if I haven't called out your name, I haven't sent a call for you. So Rich, and Rich, I'm not ignoring comments, guys. I'm multitasking, I'm talking, I'm trying to get everybody like taken care of. I'm also reading emails. Um, so Rich... And Pooh, I need you guys to send me another email, okay? If you sent me an email, send me another one, all right? All right, let's get some calls going here and let's get going. Okay, cool. So this is gonna be the order of the calls, all right? Just to give this out. Caden, you're gonna be one. Kyle, you're gonna be number two. Marky, you're gonna be number three. Asia, four. Uh, let's see, Tamoy, you're gonna be five. Joe, you're gonna be six. Miguel, you're gonna be seven. Uh, Rick, you're going to be eight. Curtis, you're going to be nine. And Liliana, you're going to be 10. All right. So guys, the way this works is as soon as I get you guys a callback, or sorry, as soon as I put your order through and you see that success message, that lets you know that it went through. But I need you guys to let me know that you guys got the text, okay? Let me know if I plugged in your phone number incorrectly, okay? So let me know via the chats. Let's get going with some calls here, guys. Joshua, I also sent an email. Thanks, Joshua. Yeah, I think one thing that might help everything work is that, you know, if you've sent or if you're watching this and you want a callback, um, please like send the email and then just say, hey, my name is XYZ. I just sent you an email. I, that way I can check you in a little bit faster once I check emails, if that makes any sense. All right, so guys, again, what I'm doing is I'm literally doing this on my phone right now, I'm plugging in phone numbers and programming this into claimer.com. So Caden, let's get you set up first. So all I need to do is plug in a phone number, choose the state, press the call now. And then you need a first name and an email. And I'm putting in my info just because, well, we don't need to share your guys' info any more than we already are, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. 
I might be out on this card or close to it. Let's see if there's any more funds left on this guy. So you just need to use, you know, just a standard card. Uh, Claimer uses uh, Stripe for payments, so they don't keep any of your payment information. It's all processed through a third party. Um, and guys, again, like, you know, Claimer was like literally started by people that were unemployed. Like I was unemployed, my brother was unemployed. Um, most of the people on the team, they were unemployed. Um, this is why the fees aren't super crazy. Um, we're not here to rip people off. So not saying that's going to make you guys feel any better about, you know, having to use a service to call EDD, but just letting you know, that's, that's who we are. Um, you may not like us, but you know, we have helped a lot of people. Um, yeah, we've helped a lot of people. I know that for a fact. And every person that I get on a live stream that says I, you know, claimer helped them get their claim paid, like that's a that's a win. That is a total win. That is somebody that is potentially saving their car. That is somebody that is, you know, saving their house, saving their apartment, um, putting food on the table, you know, paying back credit card debt, whatever. Um, so that's I understand people may not like the idea of a third party service, but um, I believe in what we do. Um, I believe that we're not ripping people off. And I think that's pretty clear, you know, because we offer these 10 additional callbacks. We know that people get disconnected. We want people to get, you know, value for what they paid for. Um, you know, but I also firmly believe in giving back to the community too. And that's why I really enjoy my job. All right, let's see if we can get this to go through. Cool. Okay, Caden, your callback is set up. And yeah, let's get those going for you. So keep an eye out from 800, 300, 5616. Okay, thanks, Rich. I appreciate you sending me a new email. Alex. Alex? I called you out, Alex. You're going to be number 10, okay? Just be patient. Kim, okay, I got it. So now I'm waiting for a call from EDD. Yeah, guys, once you get the text, you're waiting for a call from EDD. Maybe I'm not great at explaining this. Maybe I talk too much, but that's what you're waiting for. LMV writes, may I ask you why you're putting your own money to help others? I really appreciate it greatly, though. Um, yeah, like, you know, for me, because I, I came on with Claimer, um, you know, I have a job and... It's, it's, it's again, like it's my way of giving back. It's not actually like a super crazy amount of money. Like, because I have a job, I have very low expenses myself. I mean, you guys see, I don't have a fancy place here. Um, you know, it's, it's my way of helping. It's, it's my also way of like, you know, helping you because you guys also help me. You helped me grow the YouTube channel out, which, you know, hopefully will give me, you know, a decent pay paycheck at some point, you know, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just a way of me paying it forward, right? And it's also for you guys, you know, having a way to pay it forward. If you guys, you know, like Claimer, um, you know, you guys can maybe, you know, tell people it's not a scam. Maybe you do that, maybe you don't. I don't really care. Uh, maybe you guys go on to some of the Facebook groups that really don't like Claimer um, and you say, yeah, like there's this crazy guy doing live streams, giving away free calls to EDD. Doesn't care who you are, you know, I'll give you callbacks, even if you've used it before. I mean, obviously, like, I want this to be a, a service for people that can't afford Claimer, but there's also people that, you know, just don't trust Claimer, and that's totally fine, too. Like, you know, try it. Um, be a part of it, you know? That's that's why I do this. So, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Uh, Motivi writes, getting to Tier 2, I keep getting my calls dropped after two hours on hold. Yeah, so that's a really common thing, guys. When you're waiting to get in touch with a Tier 2 rep, uh, after you talk to a tier one, they transfer you. There's a real problem with the transfer drops. And that's really what pisses everybody off the most is like people are waiting like two to three, four hours and they're getting their call dropped by EDD. I can't give you any better tips than press nine every 10 minutes or so. And then the next thing is to make sure that you uh, use those callbacks from Claimer. Unfortunately, you just have to keep calling and being on hold, but eventually you will get through. You will get through. Okay, guys, like it's just a matter of, of being persistent. Um, and I'm sorry that you got dropped, bud. Victor writes, getting a phone call from ED is taking a really long time this morning. Yeah, guys, it's kind of crazy Monday through th Wednesday. Like I don't recommend you call on your own uh, Monday through Wednesday. It's it's so hard to get through. Caden writes, just writes, thanks, I just got a text. Cool. Um, 
Hannah writes, I literally have a big family emergency prayers, please. Hey, sir, I sent you an email. I'm not sure if you responded because I had to step out. Yeah, Hannah, um, I haven't seen your email just yet. I'll be checking emails in just a bit. Hang tight. UI Vlogs writes, Caden, the quarterly review has is an automated computer process to see if a claimant has earned any work wages while on a UA claim. Yeah, thanks UI Vlogs for that key tip. And guys, uh, if you can, for those of you that have come in a little bit later, uh, UI Vlogs is a creator here in the YouTube space. If you haven't checked out his channel, I recommend that you do that very soon. Uh, he puts out a ton of content that really helps people. And I really encourage you guys to support his channel. Um, you know, like I said, it's awesome that he's in here you know, keeping an eye on things. Um, and thanks for the, the feedback, UI Vlogs. That's great advice. Okay, let's get some more calls going out. Uh, let's see, Kyle, you've waited patiently, maybe too patiently. Let's get you set up here. 310-818-6286. And let me select California. We'll check that number's correct. Okay, we look good. All right, let's move on. We've got a pretty big block of phone numbers that we're going to go through here. Um, so let's make sure we can uh, keep my talking to a minimum and keep the, the production going. I see a lot of chats are coming in, so I won't be able to keep up with a lot of them. Victor writes, uh, took months to get changed, disqualified, back to paid, got results via my state senator. Yeah, so that's interesting, uh, Victor. My uh, situation was I was disqualified twice for the same reason in the state of Nevada. And they put me into, uh, well, I had to appeal it immediately. Um, there wasn't any time to contact my state senator. So I have reached out to my state senator in like the most recent weeks. And this is in the state of Nevada where I'm from or where my POA claim is. And uh, they they did get back to me. And unfortunately, basically what they were able to do was like someone from, from Nevada Dieter, right? Because that's where my claim is at. They actually called me back and they're like, okay, well, we've got this, you know, representative. Okay, real quick, an interruption. Um, Kyle, we've got your connection. Please let me know that you've got a text, okay? Let's get on to the next call. So um, any case, my state, Nevada, they called me and they said, okay, well, we see that you contacted your, hold on real quick. Uh, Marky, you're up next. Um, Marky, I'm putting your phone number in right now. Uh, what they told me was because your claim is in appeals and literally the appeals department in Nevada is like this whole department that, and I think this is actually the case in California too that once it goes, excuse me, once it goes to the appeals board, like there's no pulling it back. They can't send it back, even if it's in appeals for no good reason. Like my claim is in, I've already won one appeal and they disqualified, the day that I won my appeal, the same day they disqualified me again for the same problem. It's like, I have an ex-girlfriend there that works at Dieter in Nevada that hates me. I don't know if that's true or not, but then maybe that's a bad comment, but I just maybe got some bad karma that's coming back. So I'm in appeals again for the same thing. And, you know, I've got to try and win that claim. So it's, it's, it appeals are, are no fun for anyone. I will say that I've been reviewing the appeals board in California and I think they are fantastic. Once the appeals gets over to California, I think they have a much better, much more professional uh system than any other state that i've ever seen so i just want to let you guys know like you know you guys might really be frustrated at edd but let me tell you compared to other states that you know my claims in and then other states that i help out in um you guys are so lucky in so many ways to have california be the incredible state that it is um, and what i mean by that specifically the fact that you guys actually have a phone system that allows people to call seven days a week. It's 12 hours a day. It's crazy. Like in, in, in Nevada, you can call Monday through Friday, eight to 5 PM. Um, and most people went back to work, right? So what are you supposed to do? You call on your lunch break? where well, you can't ever get through. So you can never actually get any help. So EDD is open, you know, much past five o'clock. They're open on the weekends. Um, it's, it's just, it's wild that you guys have this, this resource. Now, of course, it's difficult to get through, which I understand. 
Um, you know, hopefully these live streams help. Hopefully, you know, you guys maybe consider using Claimer, whatever. But the other thing too is, you know, I was reading the um, the appeals. Um, and if you guys are ever curious about this, you guys have a very, very, very good appeals team in California. They're completely separate from EDD um, and they work quickly. So, you know, at least faster than they do in Nevada. So anyways, I'm just saying you guys are lucky in some regards. Okay, who's next here? I've got Asia, you are up next. 916-803-4569. Nope, that's not quite it, 4569. Cool, all right, let me select California. All right, let me catch up on chats for just a sec. Okay, Doug, I, Doug and Pooh, I will check your emails, my emails just shortly, just be patient, okay? Um, please, Pooh and Doug, make sure that your names in the <laughs> YouTube chat are the same that you emailed me on, okay? Just so I can make sure that you're the same person. Um, Doug, Doug got a call back? Okay, Doug, did you, are you on hold with EDD, Doug? <laughs> Just trying to make sure we're all on the same page. Um, G Town writes, being transferred to a tier two agent. So guys, do you see what's happening here? The first agent that G Town was talking to was unable to fix their claim or her claim. And now she's being transferred to a tier two rep. This is a EDD specialist. This is an EDD employee. This is someone that you know can handle more advanced complex nature uh, sorry, more complex claim issues, okay? And that's how this works. Now, uh, G-Town, I hope you've got it in you. It's gonna be a long hold time to reach that tier two. Sit back, you know, watch some TV, clean your house, whatever you gotta do, like, just be patient. And look, there are disconnects that happen with tier two when you're trying to reach them. So keep that in mind. If that happens for you, um, what I want you to do is reply yes. And guys, this goes for everyone that's getting phone calls today. Look at the text messages that claimers send you. There's literally a response in there in that SMS and it says, if you got disconnected, reply yes within 48 hours and they will send you another callback. So do it, use another callback. You can definitely get a hold of EDD one more time today. And you can definitely get a hold of EDD and for the next 48 hours, you can you know schedule another call for tomorrow morning. Um, and you can schedule multiple calls for tomorrow as well. And you should have callbacks uh, for Thursday because again, they give you 10 callbacks in 48 hours. So keep that in mind, okay? Like just because you get disconnected, don't, you know, don't, 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 don't lose your proverbial, you know what, like just, just be cool. Just like, okay, this guy, Nick told me that was gonna happen. No big deal. I'm just gonna get a callback. And yeah, I gotta be on hold again. No big deal. And I probably gotta talk to a tier two rep. Okay, real quick. Hey Rich, I haven't checked emails, just be patient. Vanessa writes, uh, claimer's great. The assemblement option works great too. Yeah, Vanessa, totally right. Um, g Town writes, they say there's a stop payment on my account for no reasons they can identify. Cool, so that's why you need to talk to a tier two rep. In certain cases, the tier one rep couldn't fix it. Um, and it says the wait time for tier two is over 30 minutes. Yeah, g Town, I expect it to be over at least two hours. Um, so just keep in mind, it might be longer. Um, Kyle, thank you for confirming you got the text. I appreciate it. Poo, uh, you sent the email. I will get you set up in just a sec. Joel, hey, Joel, good to see you again. Um, Joel writes, I really felt that I was going to get the quarterly review. I was paid for the weeks after July 4th and was surprised. I think it's because they cleared an earlier review in April. Yeah, that's probably true, Joel. The earlier quarter review in April, um, you, you may not have had that problem again in, in July. Pooh writes, I just sent the email. Okay. <laughs> Victor writes, hey, Victor, congrats. I'm glad you finally got the call. I know that took a long time, guys. Victor was our third person that we scheduled for a callback today. Um, it took him a long time. So guys, just be patient. Do you understand this? Like this live stream may end and you may be still waiting for a callback from EDD. It will come. I guarantee it. I 100% guarantee you will get a call back from EDD. It may take some time. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the phone lines are crazy busy jammed in California, okay? But you know, that's what you've got Claimer there for you, right? You guys get to sit back and relax, right? And wait for a callback. You don't have to dial, 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 right? You just be like, all right, you know, clean my house, wait for a callback. Oh, my phone's ringing, cool. Now I'm just gonna clean my house some more or go for a walk, you know, keeping good cell coverage, right? I'm gonna go for a walk while I'm on hold with EDD. Like, just be productive while you're on hold. All right. Um, cool. Daniel writes, off topic. Did you? What did you have for lunch? What did I have for lunch yesterday? Um, so I. All right. 
I'm kind of weird when it comes to food. Um, maybe it's weird. So I do like a big smoothie. Um, I've got this thing called a Vitamix and you know, uh, totally going off topic here real quick while I go off topic, let me get, um, Oh, actually Asia, let me make sure you're up here. So while I'm getting Asia's phone number down here, she's probably trying to reach through the screen right now. Just screaming, Nick, give me my darn phone call. Um, yeah, so what I do for food is I I shop at Costco because, um, well, I'm a bachelor and I need to make food pretty easily. And I get a bunch of veggies from Costco and a couple other things and fruit. And so what I had for lunch was I got this Vitamix, right? This big giant blender. And I put in uh, half a cup of raw oats. I put in a tablespoon of chia seeds i know because you guys really care about this stuff but i'm trying to fill up some time while i'm punching in uh info for you um half a cup of chia seeds uh sorry half a a tablespoon of chia seeds a tablespoon of hemp heart seeds uh what else do i put in there if i have some like um like plant-based uh uh like pea protein powder um what else do i put in there okay then i put in like four cups like i just grab like handfuls of this like triple mix like kale spinach whatever chuck that in there so i get a lot of greens and then i put in two oranges a cup of uh greek yogurt and a banana and two carrots and a beet and that's um about 1300 calories and that basically gives me enough fiber well it is enough fiber for the whole day and yeah like i get all my like vitamins that I need for the day. Uh, it actually tastes really good. Oh, I also put in some frozen strawberries or no, not frozen strawberries, frozen berries from Costco. And all that works out to like really be a nice big meal. Cause I like to eat big meals. Um, and that's, that's my big meal for the day. And then I think last night, uh, I cheated. Well, I didn't really cheat, but I went out to uh, in and out and I grabbed a burger cause I like to eat, beef every once in a while. So, um, yeah, there's my food that I ate yesterday and that's uh, recorded for all eternity on YouTube. <laughs> all right, let's make sure. Okay. Uh, Asia, we've got you set up. Let's get the next call going here. Uh, Tamoy, let's get you set up. All right. 909. And if you guys are like, well, I hope you're highly amused by my discussions of what I had for lunch yesterday. Good question, <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> What'd you have for lunch yesterday, man? That's a good question for everybody. What did everybody eat for lunch yesterday? All right, California. Cool, got it. Let's go. All right, so again, Tamoy, this is your call. Um, Asia, if you can let me know you got that text, that'd be helpful. Thank you. Do, 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 do
Uh, G Town writes, haha, my state hates me, literally due to my knowledge related to corruption. Ooh. Asia writes, haha, not at all. I'm patient, appreciate your help. You're welcome, Asia. And let me know if you got that text. G Town writes, I can't believe your ex blocked you from getting your benefits. Um, okay, that was a joke. I don't think my ex blocked me from benefits. I was just making a joke that I think someone doesn't like me in the state of Nevada Unemployment Agency office. Okay, fair enough. Caden writes, that's funny. I do the same thing with my smoothies. Contents are similar in everything. <laughs> cool. Um, Chucky writes, Costco is always right on time. Three kids you can imagine. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right. Woke Tree, I'm an over an hour on hold for tier two agent. Yeah, Woke Tree, in case you haven't seen this before, the hold times are pretty crazy early in the week for tier two agents. Good luck. Guys, keep pressing nine if you're on hold with EDD, whether you're waiting for a tier two agent or you're waiting for tier one. Asian writes, yay, thank you. I got, I'll check in when I get the text. Cool. Daniel writes, I had pork chops. Were they crispy pork chops or were they like, my mom used to make pork chops and they were like, it's some kind of like batter or something that kind of made them like crispy. I think it was called shake and bake. That's what it was. It was, it was, there, there literally used to be this thing, you know, this was in the eighties. I'm dating myself called shake and bake. And you'd like, you know, dip the pork chops in this like nice crunchy stuff. And she'd kind of fry them on the pan. Anyways, I don't know how you make your pork chops. Um, Asia writes, I actually wrote down those ingredients. It's a super pack smoothie. <laughs> Good luck trying to eat all of it. <laughs> um, G town writes, I've waited for six hours once. Okay. I will, if I get disconnected. Yeah. hundred percent guys, if you get disconnected, use those callbacks. Don't give up. Use the callbacks. Daniel writes, I've called 200 times a day once. Yeah, like I think Daniel holds the record for anybody. Actually, this is a good question. So how many times have you tried to call ADD in one day? Daniel has a current record that I'm aware of at 200. I did the math. From what I can tell, the most you can dial ADD is 230, I think it was 232 times a day. And he pretty much hit that record at 200. So that's dialing 12 hours a day. Uh, all right. Chucky writes made hash with sausage and ground Turkey yesterday. Nice, man. That sounds good. Kim Ho, you're still waiting for EDD. Yep. Kim, the whole, uh, the, the callbacks are taking a while. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your update. Asia writes, got my text. Thank you, Nick. You're welcome. Asia. Marky writes, what do they ask for the quarterly review? Um, basic questions. If anything, I, I, they're, they're not asked. They're not actually asking. Okay. You know what? I'm not an expert in this, so I'm not going to take that question. I don't think they ask much, if anything. The quarterly review is an automated computer system issue um, that causes that. So I, I would just be prepared to say this, that you are prepared. This is what I would say. Anytime EDD contacts you for whatever reason, you guys are doing your work searches. Do your work searches. The second thing is this. You are looking for full-time work and you are available for full-time work. Okay, that is key. They want to hear that you're looking for full-time work. If you have a part-time job right now and they call you up and they're like, hey, what are you doing for your job search? You say, well, I have a part-time job, but I'm looking for full-time work. You don't tell them you're looking for part-time work. That's a very, that buzzword to them, they will deny you every single time, okay? That's my advice there. Uh, Tamoy writes, got my text, thank you. Okay, all uh, right, let's get Joe's number set up here. I know he's been patiently waiting. 916. 899-3169. And Joe, look, I know you said you've talked to a tier rep, uh, a tier two rep four times in the past. Um, I don't know what's going on with your claim, man. That sounds pretty wild. But um, like I was explaining, man, like if you haven't used Claimer before, um, I hope this works for you. I mean, look, I know it'll work to get you on hold, but I hope that you'll use these callbacks, okay? Like they give you 10 more tries to contact a tier two rep. And guys like, Here's a secret. I mean, it's kind of an open secret. Claimer has no idea if you are getting disconnected because they don't listen to the calls. They don't know if you're getting disconnected or, you know, AKA like EDD is hanging up on you. Or, you know, if you're talking to a rep and the agent's like, oh, you just need to wait for your pending claim for two weeks or 14 weeks or whatever it is. Thank you. Have a nice day. And then you hang up. Claimer doesn't know the difference between a disconnect in that case where, you know, you hang up because you're done with the call or they got disconnected, you know, from EDD, right? So that's why the callbacks are there. Like if you get an answer from a rep that doesn't help you, use the callback people, use it. It's what it's there for. I'm telling you to use it. I mean, obviously like it costs Claimer every time you guys call, okay? It does. But like, again, we're not a company that built this to be, you know, just a like huge profit mill or whatever that would look like, like use the callbacks, use the callbacks as many times as it takes to get your claim paid. Like 
And I think that's the thing that most people don't understand is that, you know, there's it's so hard to get through to EDD that when they do get through and they talk to somebody, like let's say you're, you're using Claimer or, you know, you're, hey, Joe, real quick update. I've got you a success message. You're getting a call back. Let me know if you get that text, okay? So I think a lot of people, what they get, you know, really confused on is like, you know, let's say they use Claimer, they buy it themselves or they call themselves or they're on the live stream and they get on hold, right? Um, the problem is, let me pause this really quick. Joe, we've got you done. Miguel, you're going to be next. Um, the problem is, is that people don't realize that, you know, the agents, you, okay. The real secret is that it's going to take you, if your claim is complex. So Joe's kind of has a, sounds like a complex claim. Now, assuming that he's not in appeals, there's no claim that I've never seen that can't get fixed once you reach the right person. And what do I mean by the right person? I mean the person that has worked at EDD long enough, that has the training, that has the skill set to fix, you know, the claim that you have, the problem that you have. So that might take, you know, someone who's been there for a long time. Um, the next thing, you know, you're finding someone that you have built a relationship with, right, over the phone. That's hard to do, but you weren't rude to them, right? Like, you know, you were just like, hey, you know, I wanted to thank you for the work that you do. I know it's got to be a really hard job. How's your day going? You know, kind of break the ice, all that good stuff. And, you know, like finding finding that 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 agent and then finding someone who finding that agent who's nice enough to who wants to help you, finding that agent who has the 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 skill sets that you need to fix your claim. I mean, it takes on average three to six times. That's that's just the, the the math out there. Sometimes people get it on the first time. I, I'm not saying it, it's gonna take you six times. I'm saying on average, it takes three to six times to find a really good agent. And that's where Claimer really shines because again, you guys get those callbacks. Okay, so Miguel, please let me know you've got that uh, text coming because I programmed that successfully for you. All right, the next person up is going to be Curtis. Curtis, thank you for your patience. And Curtis, I'm gonna pro program your number and then I'm gonna check on the chat box here you guys are all having too much fun over there without me if i could just read chats all day that'd be a lot of fun i don't know enough about like the claims to give you guys really good advice and i'll always tell you like my advice is exactly what it is it's it's not a, i'm not an expert there's some things i feel pretty confident about like the advice i'm telling you about the phone stuff i'm 100 percent confident on um, it's a game of persistence. It's a, it's a game of, you know, making sure that you're you're showing up um, and calling, right? Or at least, you know, contacting your assemblyman. Um, but in other things, when it comes to specific claim matters, because things are different from state to state, and again, my claim is based out of Nevada, I'm not an expert in California. Um, and I, I will try and help, but I, I personally recommend at that point, you know, if you need specific claim advice, well, my first, first, first thing I would tell you is, um, <laughs> I would call. I would call and be finding out. Like when I'm talking to reps on the phone for unemployment claims, I'm literally going in with a pen and a paper, and I'm writing down everything that is important that they say. Because what I'm trying to do, guys, is I'm trying to find out if the, what one rep tells me is the same thing another rep tells me. They all read the same information, but they they understand things differently because different agents have different levels of experience, right? So I want everybody to start corroborating the same story to me. I feel like I'm a detective, right? I'm a detective trying to get all these EDD or Nevada agents to you know, give me the same story so I know exactly where my claim's at. And once I know what's going on with my claim and I haven't gotten it fixed over the phone, what I do from there, or what I would be doing from there, is I would be jumping onto the Facebook groups. I'd be checking in there, seeing like, okay, hey, uh, who is this one for? This was for, I believe this was for a little carried away here. Seven, where's my eight? I think I did Curtis. Curtis, I just did yours. Rick, you're gonna be next. Um, Rick, you're next. So again, like what I would be doing once I know exactly what's going on with my claim, I would be going on to like the Facebook groups, assuming I can't get it fixed over the phone. I would be going on to the Facebook groups, asking questions there, seeing if someone is knowledgeable will answer that specific type of question. Um, 
The next thing I would be doing is I'd be checking out, you know, UI vlogs. I would be checking out Shelly. I would be checking out Ginny and not in any specific order. Like they're all fantastic. Um, every single one of them, I would, you know, see if any of their videos, they have somebody that has, or, you know, not somebody, they have addressed your claim problem. Um, the next thing I would do after that is I would still keep calling. I would still contact my assembly member. I would absolutely put some of my, I would put the comments into, um, the YouTube channels for, you know, Jenny Shelley or UI vlogs, because there's a lot of people that read those comments and they're actually really knowledgeable. And a lot of times they'll help you like find out what's going on with your claim and like, what's the best way forward. Um, but again, guys, like it all kind of goes back to the simple answer that in general, there's really not a claim issue that can't be fixed over the phone. If you are persistent enough and you reach enough agents and you're charming enough to, you know, make them like you and you find a person who, you know, really can, can fix your claim. Like I've, I've yet to find that outside of appeals. That's the only thing I have literally seen people get their pending interview, their phone interview, that whole thing removed off of their claim. Um, because they called and they got a, an adjuster to actually take their call and, um, do a, what's called a little mini interview. This happened on a live stream like a week or two ago. Now there are some things that can't be fixed over the phone above and beyond, uh, appeals. And let me be, let me be clear about that. If you're waiting for va for wage verification from like your employer, like that, that's just going to take the time that it takes. You know, if you've got your uh, claim has to be reviewed by Thompson Reuters, I think that takes like two or three weeks. Like that's not going to get fixed anytime soon. But, you know, outside of that, there's, there's, there's pretty few issues that won't get fixed sooner. So I know there's a ton of comments that have been going on. I've been really focused on just trying to get these calls set up, guys. I'll check the comments as soon as I can. Cool. All right. Uh, Rick, you've got a call back. Please keep me posted and let me know that you've got a text. Um, the next person on the list was Curtis. The next person on the list is Liliana. Okay. Guys, right, I'm going to take a stretch for a sec. Ugh. Get some water. All right. Let's take a look at the chats. All right. Okay. Hang on, guys. I'm just scrolling up to the chats. All right. Kim, you're still waiting for EDD. Marky. Okay. We've talked about the quarterly review. Tamoy Hicks got my text. Thank you, Tamoy, for confirming that you got your text. I really appreciate that. Uh, that lets me know that you're going to get that call back from EDD, right? Um, okay. What else we got? Driver Pat. Hey, I'm a Hey, I'm just waking up. So what does nine accomplish? Yeah. So what it seems to do, and it's not nine, it's just any number. Okay. I just choose the number nine because it doesn't mess anything up. It seems to help with the disconnects. Like it's, it's not, it's not hundred percent, but it seems to help. Uh, a lot of people actually do press this. It helps them get past. A lot of people were getting dropped at like the 44 minute mark. Um, when you're waiting on hold for 44 minutes, it seemed to help with that. And that was kind of going on a couple weeks ago. Um, less these days. But um, yeah, it, it, it can't hurt. And what it is, is a little dial tone that the, the, the computer system actually hears. Um, I can't prove 100% that it works, but it has worked in other phone systems, other states, and it does seem to work in California, okay? All right, what else do we have? Chucky, thanks, Nick, you're awesome. Thanks, Chucky, appreciate the compliment. April writes, hey, Nick, I just got the call from EDD. My call will be answered in the order it was received, so I'm waiting. Yep, so that's how it works, guys. You are on hold. I did get an update here, so just to give you guys some, some context, um, there's a comment in the Facebook group that Claimer has and they, someone dropped in there and they actually had a rep that they talked to on the phone and the rep said, Hey, look, I just want to give you an update because this person could actually see it. Now, I don't know if they were a tier one or a tier two rep, but I think it was fascinating. They said, I need to transfer you to a tier two rep, but let me just tell you, there are 540 tier two reps. This was on a Friday last week. There are 540 tier two reps. And there's 2,500 people waiting in line to reach a tier two rep. So that tells you like on a Friday, like what the demand is, right? So, you know, uh, in terms of like how they answer the calls, you, you get put into a queue system. And the problem is, is that queue system, depending on 
you know, I guess some just some old old technology, they will kick you out, unfortunately. That's where the disconnects come in. So that's where the callbacks from Clamor come in and help you guys. So you don't, you know, yeah, you've got to, you know, call back in or you have to call back in. But Clamor calls back in for you, but you still, unfortunately, have to deal with those hold times. You still have to deal with, you know, reaching an agent who will hopefully help you. Um, if you need to reach a tier two rep, you might have to deal with those disconnects. So that's kind of the game, right? Like, and that's why these live streams are so important. You guys get to see what's happening behind the scenes. You guys, you guys now know, you guys are so well informed versus so many other people that can't get through to EDD uh, because you guys know like how the disconnects work. You know how you know to potentially use Claimer if you want to choose use this going forward. You guys know how to reach you know the right agent to help you. Uh, we've talked about the tier one reps, what they can do. They're subcontractors, many of them, if not all of them. We talked about tier two agents, you know what they can do and what they can't. Right, they're actually EDD employees. Um, we're talking about how these callbacks really help you over the course of 48 hours. I mean, there's just a lot of information that's get thrown at you. And I know it comes at you really quick, um, but I do my best. All right, let's catch up on comments here. Joshua, they still got they still got my guy. I'm not sure what that means. Oh my God, I had that style pork chops yesterday. I think we're talking about the shake and bake pork chops. <laughs> um, Roke tree and eye health. Cool. Joshua Hicks writes, shake and bake is still a thing. Oh, that's cool, man. I haven't had shake and bake in a long time. Um, that's funny. <laughs> uh, LMB writes, I use Italian seasoning breadcrumbs. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Driver Pat writes, I waited all day yesterday, but didn't get to talk to a tier two and said I was on hold for five hours. Yeah, so guys, that's a tip from Pat. He was on the live stream yesterday. Uh, he was on hold waiting for a tier two rep for over five hours. So guys, just keep that in mind. Don't lose heart. The tier two rep times are crazy long sometimes. Okay. I'm just letting you know that right now. And I have no control over that. Claimer has no control of that. That's what it takes to reach a tier two rep. And that's why I generally recommend that you call later in the week. Okay. It doesn't mean you can't get through today, but it just means the, the wait times are a little bit less later in the week. Okay. All right. What else do we got? Marky writes, I got my text. Thank you for confirming that. Reachem says, I filed to renew my claim, got accepted, but I can't certify, although it says I have a huge balance on the UI online. File to uh you know my claim got accepted but i can't certify if you can't certify you definitely need to call uh reach them that's i've seen that on some comments on facebook by calling they can fix that and usually a tier one rep can fix that i that, that's what i've read okay kim writes i got a call back from edd now on hold thank you all right kim thanks appreciate it i took a long time guys so it's taken a little over an hour to get a call back from claimer today that just tells you how busy it is all right, Kim writes, again, be nice, be courteous, thank the rep you are speaking with and ask them how their morning and day is going. Yeah, guys, like huge advice from Daniel, please follow his advice. Like it's all about being courteous. It's all about being professional. And the other thing too, guys, is this, don't tell them what's going on with your claim. They know why you're calling. You don't need to tell them you've been waiting for 14 weeks. And like, I don't mean to sound callous at all, but you don't need to tell them like, you know, yeah, like you've lost your car and, and how bad EDD's treated you and all those other kind of things. Like they know why you're calling is because you're not being paid. Build a relationship with them. Let them do their work. Don't interrupt them. You know, let them talk. Write things down that they're saying, okay? All right, UI Vlogs right. Marky, the only time you would have to answer questions as a result of the quarterly review is if you earn wages and did not report them while on a UI claim. That review is an automated process. Thanks, UI Vlogs. You cleared that up. I was kind of in the ballpark, but I appreciate you knowing a little bit more than I do. Thanks for that tip, man. All right, Joshua Hicks. I filed my claim and I'm in pending, but my balance hasn't updated since last year. I work in construction and I'm laid off from time to time, so I worked enough to file a new claim. Yeah, Joshua, I think that's exactly what's going on, man. You're just kind of bouncing on and off between gigs. Um, got a call, man. And we'll get you set up here in just a sec. Okay, Joe writes, I got the text. Thank you, Joe. Chucky writes, I was disqualified, didn't receive any email or forms from EDD. Went back to work and got laid off last Thursday. I don't see a way to reopen a claim. Any way to see this online? Um, I would call, Chucky. If you got... Yeah, if you don't see any email or forms from EDD, I would call. Just find out what's going on. Talk to a tier one rep. Kelly writes, hi, I have a case that I did not get any pay at all since the application on April 22nd. What do I need to do? Um, Kelly, assuming all your paperwork's done, uh, you need to call. You need to get a call into EDD or you need to contact your assembly member, okay? Guys, again, I'm going to reiterate this again. If you have not contacted your assembly member, please do so now. It really works, all right? 
I've got some videos up. UI Vlogs has got some video ups on how to contact your assembly member. Like, please check out all the creators in the space. Um, you know, contacting your assembly member really works right now. Um, but if you'd like a call back today on the live stream, we're going to be doing this. I'll check my email in just a minute. All right. G Town writes, I did that, Daniel. I asked for her name and thanked her for her help. Awesome. Unknown Unknown writes, thank you. Got the text. Awesome. Congrats. Um, G Town writes, my Nana used to make shake and bake. It's also good with cornflakes. Yeah, I've heard cornflakes are really good. Um, I haven't tried that. Somebody needs to make a YouTube video on uh, cornflake popcorn or cornflake pork chops. That sounds good. LNV writes, so I am unemployed because I have three kids and no one to watch them. And the schools here in my area are so close. Should I still say that I'm looking for full-time work? Absolutely. You absolutely must be looking. Okay. You are looking for full-time work, but you're looking for full-time work from home. Okay. If you have to be, you know, at home, you know, watching little ones, I totally get it. You're looking for full-time work. You're available for full-time work. You are, but you're available for full-time work from home. That is an acceptable answer to EDD. Okay. Daniel writes, uh, thumbs up G town. Nice. All right. What else we got? LNV. Yes. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. All right. Hannah writes. So I had actually sent you an email yesterday and I was the first one to comment today, but I, then I had to leave for family emergency. I sure hope I can get a call. Yeah. Hannah, we'll get you taken care of. I'm almost done with callbacks. Um, in the sense of, I'm going to check some more emails here guys. So just be patient. Humberto writes, I need to talk to a tier two rep, but I have no luck so far. What do I do? Um, Humberto, get a call back and get past the tier one agent. Ask to talk to a tier two representative using uh, Claimer today. Um, you know, Claimer gets you connected and then you need to talk to a tier two uh, agent, sorry, a tier one agent first and, you know, ask them to talk to a tier two agent. That's how it works. Terry writes, hello again. I got through yesterday. It took three and a half hours to get a person willing to help me. The first agent that answered my call obviously was having a bad day. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, so guys, this is really key what Terry just wrote. Sometimes these agents, understandably, it's a very hard job that they're doing, answering calls all day. They're in a grumpy mood. They're not willing to help. That's where the callbacks come in. Just call them again. Call, you know, like just keep trying, keep trying. I promise you, if you spend three days a week contacting EDD for pretty much any type of claim issue out there, aside from appeals, aside from wage verification, a few other ones. If you're that persistent and you reach one to two agents a day during, so again, you're reaching six agents a week, I'd say within, you got an 80% chance of getting your claim fixed. That's a lot of work and a lot of time, but it's also one week. That's, that's like how fast you can get it done. Now, I also recommend, again, contacting your assembly members. Okay, UI Vloggers writes, reach him. You will need to call. There was a computer glitch preventing the certify button from appearing on some claims. An EDD rep will need to basically refresh the account. Yeah, um, perfect. Thank you, guys. So for everyone that's having difficulty certifying online, UI Vlogs just came in with some more great information. He's stating here, you need to call EDD customer service. They have a computer glitch preventing the certify button from appearing on some claims. An EDD rep will need to basically refresh the account. Thank you, UI Vlogs. I really appreciate that. Um, that's huge. Okay, reach him. Reach him. Thanks, uh, UI Vlogs. That's great. Chucky writes, it seems like EDD was wildly unprepared for this type of disaster. I hope they're working to update the whole darn system. Yes, they were wildly unprepared. Everyone was. Terry writes, she claimed it to look at my claim and said I need a tier two agent and put me on hold again. Three hours later, I got someone that helped. It took about two minutes. Terry, congratulations. Hey, I know we we're trying to do an interview with you, Terry. Um, let me know if you got paid. Um, that's... That's what we're looking for. Uh, I'm still glad to hear that you're with us, Terry. Thank you for coming back and keeping us posted on the live streams. Joshua writes, thank you for responding to me. Uh, reach him. Yeah, reach him. I'm still check taking emails. Send one to me right now. I'm just catching up on chats and then I'm gonna go check emails. So if you haven't sent one already, please do so. Kim writes, thank you, Claimer. You're welcome. Joshua Johnson writes, if I get PUA, do I have to provide proof of work search? Yes. Well, okay. You don't have to provide work you don't have to provide proof. You need to keep records of it. You need to do one work search activity a week for PUA. I highly recommend that you guys are all registered on Cal Jobs, not because you're required to, unless your claim started after July 11th. However, I recommend that you're on Cal Jobs because again, it's a computer system for EDD. And what they're looking at is that, are you on Cal Jobs after July 11th? Well, I don't trust EDD's computer system. They might look at it and say, oh, well, you're not on Cal Jobs at all. Even though that you don't need to be, 
uh, they may flag your account. So I just recommend that you set up an account on CalJobs. It's just a way to hopefully avoid one more way of a getting a pending situation. Um, you need to do one work search activity a week for PUA uh, and you need to keep records of that. And you need to certify every week that yes, you are looking for work um, and PUA has got a great option. There's a whole bunch of videos on that. Again, I think UI Vlogs has got them on it. Uh, I think Shelly's, uh, you know, Jenny's, I've got videos on it, right? So ton of information out there. Just do your research, bud. All right, Shakespeare Cafe. I think I'm actually caught up. Oh, I thought I was caught up on chats. Um, April writes, I spoke with an EDD rep and she looked, okay, April, we helped on a call earlier. She looked at my account and at first she said I had to reapply for my yearly, but then I told her I'd done that back in March. She saw that I had put, I had, so she put me back into the queue. Okay, so April, she puts you back into the queue because she, you need to go and talk to a tier two rep. All right, you're going to be on hold for a long time today. All right, so keep pressing nine. Everyone that's gotten callbacks, keep pressing nine. It seems to help a little bit. Um, April, you've got to talk to a tier two rep to get your case fixed. All right, good luck. Keep us posted. Asia Hera writes, hey, Nick, offhand, do you know how long it usually takes for EDD to process a new claim if you are already on an extension? Um, that's probably a better question for UI Vlogs if he's still in the channel. Uh, my, a new claim, it, my personal opinion is this, you shouldn't have to go through the Thompson Reuters verification. You should basically just be, well, I could be wrong on all of this. I, I'm not an expert on this. Um, Asia, I'm not gonna comment on that because I just don't wanna give anyone or you any bad information on this. My, my personal opinion is that it should be pretty quick. If you're on an extension and you need to file a new claim, the only reason you would need to file a new claim is if your benefit year ended and you had wages in the last 18 months. Now, if you fall in that category, from what I understand, it takes approximately two to three weeks to get that done. If you haven't worked in the last 18 months, it should be very quick and you should call. All right, let's see what else we have. Joshua writes, just to clarify my earlier question, I'm able to certify my balance hasn't updated. Um, Josh, you wanna call. You wanna call to get your balance updated. There's something going on there. You're gonna to need to get that fixed via customer service or contact your assemblyman. Jeff writes, hey, this is Jeff Wright. Emailed you with a description. Uh, I'm just curious how they paid me in the future. I had a screenshot of that. I'm not sure what you mean. Um, I'm just curious that they paid me in a future and I had a screenshot of that. I'm not sure what you mean. Terry writes, I did get paid. Thank you very much for your help. I can now make my mortgage payment com coming up. Hey guys, congratulations. So everyone thank, well not thank, but you know, congratulate Terry. She got uh, on a live stream, I think a week and a half ago. She was persistent, um, you know, kept, kept getting in contact with EDD and she got her claim fixed. So guys, every, every time we get somebody paid, like this is a huge, huge step forward. Um, so congratulations, Terry, you're welcome. All right, let's get these calls squared up. Uh, Liliana, you're up next, and then I'm gonna be checking emails. All right, Liliana, let's get you set up here. And you guys are seeing, right, like it's taking a long, long time to um, get EDD on the phone, even using Claimer. All right. So I just want you guys to be aware, right? Like, you know, you guys are literally watching me do this, you know, on my phone, like I'm programming these into my phone as we speak, but you know, it takes time to reach EDD, um, early in the week. And it also, uh, takes time while you're on hold with EDD. Okay. Because you guys are in EDD's Q system. All right, so just be patient, right? I generally recommend that if you need to reach a tier one rep using Claimer, um, you know, plan on about three hours. You know, if you need to reach a tier two rep, plan on most of the day. Thanks, Daniel, for congratulating Terry. That's awesome. Asia writes, uh, that's helpful. Thank you. I'll make sure to you visit UI Vlogs channel. Please do, and not just visit, guys. Like support them. Like subscribe to them leave comments on their channel. It helps their channel get more rankings. Um, and again, it encourages them to keep making great content. And really that's, that to me is the most important thing that everyone keeps making important content. I personally don't care who you guys like more than others. As long as you guys are getting good information on your claims, like, like them all. I also think too, it's really important that you guys are watching pretty much like kind of everybody's channel because everybody has different takes on 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 the information. Um, and there's also great comments on all of their channels. So, you know, not that you wanna spend all day, every day, 
watching or you know watching YouTube, but I do think that there's a huge benefit by you know being as fully informed as you possibly can. And I think again, you know, watching Shelly, you know, on her video, then watching UI vlogs and what he's talking about, you know, a particular issue, maybe on pending payments or um, you know, how to call EDD or whatever that may be. And then cross-referencing that with Ginny, you know, versus maybe what I'm saying. I think you guys walk away with more information and you guys are in a better spot um in terms of how to get your claim fixed okay liliana there's your callback keep an eye out let me know if you got a text from 800 sorry let me know you got a text from claimer um keep an eye out for that callback it's going to take about an hour to get a callback from 800 300 5616 i'm about ready to go check emails and this is going to be the last time i'm checking emails guys because i do this about three times during the live stream i have yeah contacted everyone here Let's see what the chats say Thanks, Todd, for the congrats over to Terry. Jeff writes, I sent Reach. Just curious if my messages are being seen. Um, I think so. I mean, Jeff, I'm seeing your emails. Daniel writes, hope everyone gets paid. Yes. Uh, Jeff writes, am I even being seen at her laughing like three chats? I don't know what you mean by there, bud. Um, Sadrudin Nasrudin. I like that name. That's a cool name. Um, yeah, so Sadrudin, we are doing uh, free calls over to EDD. If you need a connection to talk to someone to fix your claim, uh, that's what we're doing here. I'm using Claimer. I'm buying the calls myself, and we're getting people connected to EDD so they get their claims fixed. Lightflex writes, have you done my number? My phone died for a minute. Hey, yeah, Rick, I did get your yours connected. Um, you were number eight. So you should have gotten a text, but yeah, you should be getting a callback from EDD, okay? So Druden writes, please check your email pending for 17 weeks. UI Vlogs writes, uh, Nick, your answer was right in regards to Asia's question. Two to three weeks to process the new claim following the end of the benefit year. Thanks, UI Vlogs. Like, I'm kind of doing my best here. Um, I really appreciate you uh, dropping in, man. This is great. Um, and really helping me make sure that we're giving everybody, you know, really good information. And this is really important, guys. Like, you know, speaking for myself, at least, like, I'll be the first to tell you the information I have, it's, I'm sourcing this as best I can. I don't work for EDD. Um, I would take my information for what it is. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's just my opinion, but, you know, it don't, don't, don't bank on it. That's why I recommend you go check out other channels, you know, verify the information as much as you can. Um, there's some things I feel pretty confident talking about other things. I, you know, I'll tell you, like, I don't really know. Um, and I'll be happy to let that, you know, be the case. All right. Let's see. Light flex, bro. <laughs> That's a party foul. Chucky, I like your sense of humor. Woke Tree writes, this live stream is acting as ASMR for be on hold with EDD for hours. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm kind of realizing that, right? Like you could sit on hold and listen to the crazy phone music, you know, which nobody likes, or you could sit here and listen to this crazy person. Uh, well, hopefully give you guys some good information from time to time um, while you guys are waiting on hold. So yeah, I just kind of keep rambling and riffing. Um, but yeah, thanks. Those are some cool comments, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, everyone, again, thank thank UI Vlogs. Like he's done a ton of work. I actually saw UI Vlogs did a video for Nevada at one point, um, which is pretty cool. So yeah, guys, like this is pretty cool. We've got another creator, a content creator uh, on YouTube. He's actually really successful um, on this live stream, helping out with a couple comments. So um, thanks again, UI Vlogs. And everybody, thank UI Vlogs for being here. It's uh, it's great to have him. All right, let's check the emails because it's time to get our last batch of calls out, okay? And again, guys, um, I'm going to go through the emails. But as I call out your name, um, I need you to double check that you're here. Okay. Hey, Pooh. Literally, your name is Pooh Carter. Um, I've got you set up here. So 510-8021. Joshua Hicks. Okay, so Pooh, you're going to be number one. Josh, Joshua, you're going to be number two. So guys, like I said, I'm, I'm looking down because I got to write this off of my email screen. So just be patient, please. Uh, so yeah, Joshua, Joshua. Okay, gotcha, Josh. 
8664. Okay, I've got a David Wallace. Uh, Joshua, you're going to be number two. I've got a David Wallace. I haven't seen you check in, David. Uh, please write your name, David, into the chat box, okay? Uh, bear with me, Doug. Okay, let's see. David Wallace, yeah, please uh, check into the chat box that you are still here. 267... Yeah, guys, like, the other thing you guys can do to help me is, you know, where your time permits. Um, you know, if you guys end up getting paid, like, let me know in the in the comments and, like, let's let's do an interview. Like, let's let's share how you guys got your, your claim fixed, you know? And not just, like, it's not about selling claimer, guys. I don't care about that. What I care about is giving people some hope, right? Like, Hey, this is what was going on with my claim. I was pending for X amount of weeks, so on and so forth. Um, what I think is really important is to give people hope that, you know, maybe you contacted your assembly member. Maybe you contacted, you know, EDD through the phone, um, whatever. Like, give people some hope. Pay it forward. Tell people, like, how, what you learned along the way. Give people that information. That's what I'm inter interested in these interviews, okay? Pure and simple. All right, Charles, I see you. I know that you've checked in, so you're getting a call back. You're going to be number three. That's one, nine, one, eight, three, seven. Okay. Hannah, I see you there. You're going to be number four. All right, Hannah, thanks for your patience. Cool. Hannah, you're number four. Jeff Freeman, I see you there. You're going to be number five. I'm still looking for David. David, you've emailed me, but just make sure you're checking in. Um, okay, I see a Jason. Jason, I haven't seen you in the chat yet. So please, Jason, write your name, Jason, in the chat, and I will get you set up for a callback. Guys, that's the way it works, right? Like, if you email me, I need you to be on the live stream getting a, you know, like working with me, right? Because it's not just about getting a phone call. It's about learning how to use the phone calls. Um, you know, it's it's valuing your time and it's getting you guys this key information that you all need. Besides, maybe you guys actually like listening to, uh, to me versus the damn EDD hold music. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, Jason, yes, please check in. All right, reach him. I recognize you. You're going to be number six. Reach him. I'm calling you back. I'm just getting your number here. So, guys, I'm noticing there's a couple people here that have emailed and have not sent a screenshot that they've subscribed to the channel. Um, that's okay. Like, I don't expect everybody to get it the first time. Um, so if you have not already done that, um, send me a screenshot that you subscribed. Uh, please do so. So, Sandrudin, uh, I see that you sent me an email. Um, I'd love to get you a call back. Just send me a screenshot that you subscribed. Same thing, Larnell, you've emailed me and you don't have a screenshot or I don't have a phone number. So I need you to send me a phone number and I need a screenshot that you subscribed to the channel. Okay, Lar Larnell, you sent me another email, but with your phone number but send me a screenshot you subscribed hey bobby cook you're back and bobby i actually had you earlier on my list um bobby where were you you were one of the first i thought okay bobby there you are bobby you sent me another email bud but you didn't send me your phone let me write you an email really quick i don't want anybody to not get a call back here today Okay, cool. All right, so we've got everybody pretty well dialed in for that. I'm going to come back over here. So, Sadruddin, um, like I said, please send me. There it is. Sadruddin, you're on it, bud. I've got it. Thank you for doing this. Sadruddin, you're going to be number seven. Uh, let's see. Nine, one, six, eight, nine, two, six, four, seven, six. Okay, I'm going to go back to the chat just to make sure we didn't miss anybody. 
And this is gonna be the last set of calls I'm sending out today, guys. Okay, Bobby, I've got you. Thanks for being on top of that, Bobby. Bobby, can you please check into the live stream? I assuming that I'm assuming that you're here. Just write your name, Bobby, in the live in, in the live stream chat, please. Okay, so Druden, you and I hope I'm pronouncing your right your name right. Um, well, whatever your name is, that's a cool name. I like it. All right, cool. Let's go back to the chats here. Get caught up. Cool. All right, let's do this. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, Chucky, I've got you, bud. Um, I got you set up as Charles. You're going to be number three. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Reach him, Pedro. Yeah, reach him. I got you. Uh, TR writes, hey, Teresa, thank you, Nicholas and Claim. You came through for my issues with EDD. Hey, Teresa, did you actually get paid? I know you were on the live stream yesterday. Um, have you gone from pending to paid? Let me know. Um, all right. So, Druden, I'm down for an interview. Been pending for 17 weeks. Contact assembly member. Also, he said that I need to wait for a phone call, but that's been a while. Um, so, Druden, two things. Contact your assembly member again, Okay. Uh, things have changed since you last spoke with them. They have new staffers. So I recommend you do that while we're on hold today. Um, yes, I will get you a phone call and you will get, uh, guys, I'm going to explain this all again, how Claimer works, um, before we get started. So everybody kind of knows like what to expect, but Sadrudin, you're welcome. Um, Hannah, you're welcome. Thank you for checking in. Jeff, uh, thank you for putting my number through. I'm having certified, have it reopen your claim. It's a small tier one kid's handle. Cool. Um, Daniel writes, what am I going to be having the next live stream? So I was going to do one. It'd be kind of cool to do one every day of this week. Um, how about we do one tomorrow? Let's see. So EDD goes to lunch and they're going to be going to lunch here pretty soon. Um, EDD goes to lunch. Let's do one tomorrow at one o'clock. Yes. One o'clock. So for all of you. We'll do another one of these tomorrow, 1 p.m. We're going to try it in the afternoon, all right? Maybe it'll be a little bit better. Um, the one thing I will warn you guys on is that tomorrow, by doing it in the afternoon, it is likely that reaching a Tier 1 agent will be a little bit difficult. But on the flip side, it should be much faster to reach EDD uh, at, you know, in terms of the claimer callbacks, those should come back much faster. The hold time should be much, much less. So thanks, Daniel. That's a great question. All right, Caden writes, just an update. I just got a call back and I'm on hold with EDD. Thanks again. We'll continue to drop updates in the chat here. Fantastic. Thank you, Caden. Uh, Caden, you were you were number 10 on the call list today. So guys, it's taken a long time to get the callbacks, all right? And it's just the way that it works. You know, claimers not, you know, dying 100 billion times, you know, clogging up the phone lines. Like, you know, they call on average 15, I think it's like 15, is it 15 to 20 or 15 to 30, something like that, 15 to 30 times in order to get everybody connected. But, you know, that takes, and they, they state, you know, the average callback time takes one to two hours. So if it's anything less than two hours, you guys are doing well. Um, thank you, Caden, for that update. Um, and I'm just letting everybody know, I'm setting you guys up with Claimer Connections today. You will get a callback today from EDD, but it might take, you know, an hour or longer to get that callback. So please be patient. All right. And listen to what I'm saying on the live stream, because I'm going to give you guys all the tips and the tricks that you guys need to be aware of while you're waiting for, um, you know, EDD, while you're on hold, waiting for that callback from Claimer, um, you know, all this good stuff. All right. We're almost done with the chats here. Uh, Sedrudin, let me know if my screenshot isn't visible. Sedrudin, you're good to go. Um, Jeff writes, you're constantly have a charge on your phone who sucks out a lot of energy out of your phone. You don't have a way to charge your phone if it cuts you right off. Huh? I don't know what to tell you there, Jeff. Reach him. Thanks a lot, man. You have vlogs, Sean, not all 1099 income has to be reported, but yes, you should report 1099 income due to a job. If you receive a 1099 for investment income, then no key guys follow what you have vlogs has got there. Um, super, super important there. Thank you, UI Vlogs. Appreciate you uh, clarifying that for sure. I missed that comment from Sean altogether. Um, Chucky writes, my interview goes in a world movie trailer guy voice. 
where money was plentiful, but only a few were able to access it. Then a smoothie-wieldy knight rode into town with free calls to the EDD. All right, that's about as good as I can do for you, Chucky. <laughs> All right. Uh, TR writes, thanks, Claimer. I received a call back at 8.03 this morning and was on hold for 15 minutes. Then was transferred to a Tier 2 specialist on hold two hours total. Spoke to Kristen, Tier 2 specialist. What a great asset to EDD. Awesome. Thanks, TR. Um, yeah. I'm glad you got squared up. I'm, I guess I'm curious though, TR, and this is Teresa, I know who you are. Um, if you don't have claims traction, even after talking to this agent within like 24 to 48 hours, I recommend you come back either, you know, jump on a live stream, get another call back with me or use claimer yourself. Again, guys, just because you, you have a, an agent that makes you feel good about your claim, like they tell you like, oh, just, you know, hang tight or wait. If you don't see traction every, you know, two to three days, I really recommend that you're either calling again or again, contacting your assemblyman, whatever the, and if you haven't contacted your assemblyman already, like do that. You got to attack this from all the angles. All right. All right. I said Druden saying your name, you're saying my name perfectly. Well, I got lucky on that one. Um, Bobby here. Thank you, Bobby, for checking in. Okay, Bobby, you are going to be number eight. I'm still looking for Jason and I'm looking for David. Uh, you guys have emailed me, but I haven't seen you check in yet. All right, guys, I'm almost done with chats. Jeff writes, you saved me 20 bucks. Of course. Yeah, guys, like, happy to do so. Um, Mr. Abbott writes, okay, Mr. Abbott, we got a call for you earlier. I spoke with an agent. She told me I have to have an interview with more information, so I asked to speak to a tier two specialist. Perfect. Okay, if you guys are waiting on phone interviews, there's a couple things that are happening for you. Some of it's really good news, but specifically for the call situation, if you guys are waiting on phone interviews, you guys need to reach most likely a tier two, uh, what's called a tier two uh, adjuster, all right? So this is the next level above who you speak to at first. Now they can generally do a mini interview, a mini phone interview over the phone to fix your claim. That's how to fix it on the calling side. But guys, again, there's a huge piece of news and go check out UI Vlogs channel. Um, if you haven't already seen it, I'm sure he's got an update on it. If not, go check out Shelly, Jenny's or mine, whatever. Um, the, the conditional payments, these are this conditional payments that EDD announced. Uh, this is really going to help a lot of you guys with phone interviews. Okay. So again, the way this is works is California EDD is going to be paying it now instead of paying it later. So for those of you with phone interviews, if you qualify under this program, you need to have at least one week that you've been paid on your claim. You must have at least two weeks that you've been pending, right? So you've been paid at least one week or more. You've been pending for at least two weeks. If you fall into that category, you guys are under this conditional payment program that EDD just launched you know, because they had to settle a lawsuit last Friday. And they're doing those in batches on a daily basis. Um, so keep in mind, you know, I recommend calling. I still recommend contacting your assemblyman just to keep the pressure on them. But at the same time, um, you guys might fall into that program. You might just wake up tomorrow or next week or whenever um, quite soon and find that you guys are, are you know, uh, you're going to be paid. Now, I will tell you this. For all of you that need a phone interview, you still will have to have that phone interview. That is part of the uh, the requirements for the conditional uh, payment program that EDD has done. Okay, keep in mind you must remain eligible. You must take that call. Don't get don't miss that call. Don't avoid it. Even if you get paid, do the call. Uh, make sure you don't get stuck in overpayments. Okay, that's a whole other thing that we'll have to do a whole bunch of videos on at another time. Okay, Rick Rick writes. I didn't get Rick writes. Sorry, I'm losing the the ability to talk. Um, I didn't get the confirmation from Claimer. Well, I still got a call back. Lightflex, I'll tell you what, if you didn't get the confirmation, I'm not terribly surprised. I'm making a lot of calls, so it's possible that it didn't go through. If you don't get a call back by two o'clock today from EDD, let me know via email and I'll send you another call. It's possible that I fat fingered it. It's possible, but I've been pretty good on it today. Just let me know, okay? Um, let's see here. Christy O'Brien, hey Christy. Got through to two agents yesterday, thanks to you. Hey, Christy, so you were on the live stream yesterday. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. Unfortunately, I was dropped tr twice while on hold for the second tier. Tried the nine trick, but it didn't work. But super hopeful for today. Thanks again. Okay, Christy, so I hope you're using those callbacks, right? You're replying yes to the text message that Claimer sent you. You have 10 callbacks within a 48 hour period. So today is day two. You have callbacks you can use today. You got, you can request a callback this evening after EDD closes at 8 p.m. to get a callback first thing tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. 
all right? And then you have callbacks up to, you know, 48 hours. I think we're doing the live stream around 10 a.m. You probably have callbacks available until like noon tomorrow, more or less. So just keep keep asking for those callbacks and good luck today, okay? All right, Todd writes, great job today. Go eat some lunch. Yeah, well, <laughs> when we get there. Um, okay. Teresa writes, yes, got paid the balance under PEUC tier two. Then, then next is PEUY tier three next. Congratulations, Teresa. I'm so happy for you. Um, Teresa, I'd love to do an interview with you. Maybe I'll catch you on an email and maybe we can do, um, you know, a pay it forward interview for the rest of the folks and how you got your claim paid. That'd be awesome. Congratulations. Everybody congratulates. That's TR. Um, she got paid. All right. L and V. Uh, Chucky Lewis. Yep. That's exactly my thoughts on Nick. He's helping us fight the EDD dragon. <laughs> mm -hmm. TR writes, uh, see the above comment. Thank you, Nicholas. You rock. You're welcome, TR and Teresa. I really appreciate it. Michael Nelson writes, I haven't heard back from my assemblyman assistant. I'm in district 51. I keep calling and can't get through. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Um, hmm. If you haven't heard back from your assemblyman, Michael, I would recommend coming to the live stream tomorrow at 1 p.m. And let's get you a call going with Claimer at least, okay? Uh, that's my first thought. I think there's been some videos out there. I think either Shelly, Ginny, or UI Vlogs did some videos like what to do in case you haven't heard from your assemblyman. So check those videos out. All right, Hannah, I'm going to watch on my TV now so I can charge my phone up. I need an interview, was told 18 weeks last time. Yeah, Hannah, you need to talk to a tier two. Don't buy that 18 week shenanigans. You can absolutely get it fixed much sooner over the phone. You have to be persistent and you have to potentially talk to a, an EDD uh, tier two agent, specifically an adjuster, a couple times before finally someone's like, okay, fine, I'll do your claim over the phone. You've been waiting 18 weeks. They'll do it. All right, what else? Chucky, I literally went to 7-Eleven, loaded 20 bucks on a prepaid card after dropping my son off at school. Got on YouTube by happenstance and felt like a load was lifted. Thanks again, Nick. Hey, you're welcome, Chucky, Charles. Um, you're totally welcome. Guys, just keep in mind, like, again, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you guys are happy that you got these EDD callbacks going, but I just need you to be aware, use the claim or callbacks. The first time you reach an agent might not be enough to get your claim fixed. If you, it, you know, if they tell you need to wait, wait a bunch of weeks, Call them again today. Call them again tomorrow using the callback. Respond yes to the text message. Get those going. All right. Christy writes, thanks for the tip to request for a callback at night. Yeah, so this is a tip for every single one of you guys that have gotten a, a connection with uh, EDD today. You need to contact, sorry, you need to request a contact, a callback. Sorry, I'm getting tired. You guys need to request a callback from EDD from Claimer later tonight around 8.30 to 9 o'clock. And the way that you do that is you respond yes to the text message that they send you. That way they're going to start calling for you first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, so you don't miss any, you know, in any time. So request one after EDD closes. Every one of you tonight that did not get your pending claim paid or you, your, your, your claim isn't paid right now uh, after contacting EDD today, Set another one up for tomorrow morning, first thing. And you guys just need to wait, okay? The callbacks will probably take an eight in the morning, you know, maybe an hour, maybe less. But just don't waste any time. And then get that callback if you guys get to get disconnected. You know, press yes again and start the process all over again. You guys kind of see like this is a, I call it ship and iterate, right? You're gonna, you're gonna try and, and get it done. And if it doesn't work, you're gonna iterate and do it again. All right, Caden up has an update. A representative just picked up my call and said I have been caught in the quarterly review. She says that I am not the only one with this issue and she will transfer me to someone that can help fix the issue. Caden, okay, if you get disconnected with your tier two rep trying to fix the quarterly review, um, don't sweat it. Just call back. A tier one rep can fix this. It sounds like you talked to a tier one rep. She wasn't able to fix your claim, um, but nonetheless, many tier one reps can. So just be patient. You know, call again later this afternoon if you get disconnected on that tier two rep or, well, not or, um, you know, contact them again. Like I said, schedule a call back with Claimer by replying yes uh, around 8.30 or later tonight or even 10 o'clock. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure EDD is closed and contact another agent tomorrow uh, and you'll get your claim fixed. You've got a quarterly review. Yours is a super easy thing to fix and you will get paid today or tomorrow. I guarantee it. Uh, so Druden writes, what was the TR issue? Um, I don't remember what Terry's issue was specifically. All right, cool guys. 
UVI Vlogs has got another update. Uh, Michael, you may want to try to reach out your state center if you've not heard back from your assembly member. Yeah, great, guys. So again, we've got literally like one of the great like creators in the sp in, in in the YouTube space here in California, UI Vlogs. If you guys have not subscribed to him, you're not you haven't heard of him, which I think is be pretty crazy if you found me and you haven't found him. Um, or her, I don't know who UI Vlogs is exactly. Um, well, I guess it's a guy's voice, so we'll go with that. Anyways, yeah, please go check out his channel. Um, you know, he does a ton of good work and he's in here actually helping us with, you know, very specific questions. It's very clear UI Vlogs knows his stuff, so I really recommend you take the advice he's given you um, and everybody else pay attention to it, right? Like it's in these little live streams, it's in these comments on, you know, like UI Vlogs, uh, you know, videos that he's doing in the comments in his actual uh, channel, you know, in Ginny and Shelley's and everybody else's like you guys find these little, you know, pearls. And and they're, they're, they're just really important little pieces of information. And, you know, Michael, I hope you take that advice, contact your state senator, and also show up for the live stream on uh, tomorrow at 1pm and we'll get you taken care of. All right. Michael, don't call, email your assembly person. Okay, that's another great tip. So Daniel's got another great tip. Email your assembly person. I emailed my assembly person Wednesday and got a response uh, Thursday. It was on the phone with Ingester Friday and I got paid Monday. So yeah, guys, maybe not call, maybe email. Thanks, Daniel. Michael writes, thanks UI Vlogs. Yes, everyone, please, thank UI Vlogs. Like, this is pretty cool. He's actually taking some time in this channel. Uh, this is pretty awesome. All right. Uh, Eston Cook, Bobby, I haven't sent your call. I'm about ready to start sending calls. Uh, you'll get a text pretty soon. All right. Okay, uh, this is gonna be the last chat that I take before I schedule um, calls. Caden writes, can you please clarify about the scheduling a callback if I get disconnected? You said I need to schedule it at night. Yeah, so Caden, the way that Claimer works, and I'm sorry if it's a little confusing the way that I'm describing it, right? They're gonna send you a series of texts. The first text that you should get is like right after I programmed your number into Claimer, right? You should have gotten a text. And that text, it depends on what it says. Um, you, you know, it kind of says like, hey, welcome to Claimer. Hopefully that text says like, if you guys get disconnected, you know, you have up to 10 callbacks within 48 hours to contact EDD again, right? And if you need a callback, you press yes, Y-E yes. No parentheses, just Y-E yes. Um, and that, and the, the thing is, is it's a little bit, I know again, guys, like we're a super small team. We're not like super cool at making it everything super fancy, right? Like, um, you know, you don't really know, like by responding yes, that you're going to get a callback, but I'm telling you when you respond yes to that text message, you're going to get a callback. Okay. Um, so, but you're, but you're not going to know when you're going to get that callback necessarily. I do know this. If you request a callback from Claimer or you purchase a callback from Claimer, Okay, in the evening after EDD closes, Claimer doesn't start calling that night when EDD's closed. They call the next business day that EDD opens up. So if hope that makes sense, Caden, if you need a call back tomorrow because you get disconnected today, first off, I'd recommend that you call again today because your quarterly review is a very easy fix, could be done by most tier one reps, um, and they're open till 8 p.m. tonight. So request a callback later this evening, and I guarantee you, you're going to be able to get through a lot faster this evening than you can first thing on a Tuesday morning. Um, but if you don't get it fixed tonight, you know, I would recommend, again, press yes around 8.30 or 9 o'clock, and you'll get that callback tomorrow morning. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. UI Vlogs. Thank you, Nick. You're welcome, UI Vlogs. I appreciate it. This has been great, bud. Um, Michael Nelson, appreciate it. Try and make it too. Okay. At Michael, tell them you are going through financial hardship and we'll get your uh, your utility shut off. Yeah, guys, this is huge. So financial hardship is a very important thing when it comes to EDD. Uh, I think there's, I could be wrong, but I think there's some laws or regulation that they actually have to like work harder on your claim if you have financial hardship. And I've heard some rumors about this. Maybe Daniel knows more about this, but yeah, um, it's it's a thing. All right, Chucky writes, got to go put a roast in the crock pot. Nick, I appreciate the help and the laughs. I hope everyone is able to get paid. I'll be checking for the text soon. Bye, everyone. Thank you, UI Vlogs. Thanks, Chucky. That was great. Charles, hey, bud, you'll be getting your call back in just a bit. All right, guys. Let's get some calls set up here. So let's just go back over the order. Um, we've got Pooh, Joshua, Charles, Hannah, Jeff, 
Reachem, Sedrudin, and Bobby. Okay, that's the order we're going in. Let's get him going. Victor writes, email, and if no response, then call your assembly member's office for follow-up. Thanks, Victor. That's great. Hey, Victor, I was curious. Um, are you still on hold, or were you able to talk to somebody today? And Pooh, I'm getting your call set up right now. Yeah, guys, um, it seems the financial hardship is a buzzword that really helps. I would, I mean, everybody's in financial hardship. Don't get me wrong. If we're on unemployment, I get it. Um, but just be careful with it. Like you may need to prove that you're in financial hardship, but I would definitely mention financial hardship to a tier two agent or talking to your assembly member. Um, that seems to help. So keep that in mind. Woke Tree writes, UI Vlogs 2021. Do you have info on not paid versus pending weeks? Most people are talking about pending weeks. I have weeks in not paid status due to my claim balance reaching zero before my extension. Um, hey, Woke Tree, I don't know if UI Vlogs is still with us, but I would go check him out on his channel. Um, I don't have an answer for you on the not paid status, unfortunately. Um, yeah. But hopefully. You have vlogs still around. Okay, guys, I'm just cranking out some calls here. Cool. Pooh, hopefully this is going through for you. All right, Pooh, you're getting a call back, okay? So let me know if you get that text message. All right, let's get on to Joshua. All right, Victor, still waiting on hold for a tier two rep. Okay, cool, thanks Victor, appreciate that update, bud. Michael Nelson, Daniel Kim. Yeah, I'm gonna try other districts that handle claimants outside the district. Yeah, so Michael, that was gonna be my point to you is that I think there are assembly members that will help people outside of their district. There's 80 assembly members, email them all. <laughs> Maybe not them all, that's what I did in Nevada. And they got really pissed at me because there's like, I don't know how many assembly members that I email. I emailed all the democratic ones because yeah, they generally will help. Um, and I heard back, I think I emailed 40 people, 40 or 50 people. I heard back from like 10 of them and they all were like, okay, we'll, we'll refer you to our EDD liaison or not EDD, our Nevada Dieter. Dieter is, is EDD over Nevada. Um, you know, they said that they'd run us over to that liaison that they have for Nevada Dieter unemployment. And anyways, I get this phone call from uh, this liaison and she's like, I speak to Nicholas Maxson. And I was like, yeah, sure. And she's like, well, hi, I've gotten like 13 different requests from, you know, Nevada legislators that you need help with your claim. Unfortunately, we can only send one request to uh, Dieter. And I was like, well, that sucks. I was kind of hoping that Dieter would get, you know, all 13 requests from every single, you know, legislative, you know, member that I emailed just to keep putting the pressure on him. So anyways, it didn't work out in that sense, but it did help, right? Contact other people outside your district. I think they'd be more than willing to help, Michael. I think it's a good idea. Okay, cool. Joshua, we've got your connection set up. Awesome. All right, let's check on these. Okay, do, 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 do. It's Daisy. I, hey, Daisy, I'm not doing any more callbacks today, but I'm doing another live stream tomorrow at 1 p.m. So keep an eye on the channel and we'll get you a callback set up for tomorrow. I promise we'll get you help then, okay? Victor writes, not paid equals need to get a tier two adjuster to change your not paid to paid. Um, so yeah, there you go. Thank you, Victor, for that. Sadruden writes, once I'm connected, can I try to explain my situation to the tier one rep? If they can't help, can I be requested to a tier two? Yeah, that's more or less what's going on. Uh, Sadruden, what I personally recommend is this, is when you talk to a tier two rep or tier one rep first, um, the first thing I would do is, you know, thank them 
for what they do. This is a very hard job that they do. Uh, build a relationship with them, you know, like say, thank you. I really appreciate, you know, the work that you're doing. Taking calls all day from really upset people must be a hard job. Um, I hope you're having a good day, right? Start off with that. Um, you shouldn't need to explain too much what's going on with your claim. I mean, realistically, they know you, there's a problem with your claim by calling. So what I would personally do is just kind of let them, you know, look at your claim, look it over. And then if they're not able to help you, um, they'll either transfer you to a tier two rep or you can ask to be transferred to a tier two rep. Okay. All right. So Charles, I'm getting your call set up here right now. Looks like we've got some more people. Okay, LNV, yeah, you're still waiting for your call. It's guys, it's taking a long time to get callbacks. Um, just, just be patient. Uh, it could take you know up to an hour or longer. All right. Um, let's see. Thanks, Victor. Yeah, Woke Tree, Victor, I think got you squared up. Um, G Town on hold for a minute and forty one minutes so far. Yeah, so guys, this is G Town. This is the first person that got a call back today. She's been on hold for an hour and forty four. 41 minutes waiting for a tier one rep to pick up. Okay, so the hold times for tier two, they are long. They are long, guys. Keep pressing nine every 10 minutes or so. It seems to help. All right, let's see what we got here. Daisy, thank you, Daisy. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Raymond, um, you sent me an email. Cool, I'll catch you tomorrow, Raymond, for sure. Uh, Joshua, I saw the number you typed in. Is that a cover up because it doesn't match mine? Um, Joshua, it's possible that there's another Joshua that wrote me in. Um, I will double check your, I may have, I may have written it down wrong. Josh, let me know if you didn't get a text. It sounds like you didn't. Um, let me do Charles here really quick and then we'll, we'll, we'll catch up on yours. Live claimer. Cool guys. We're getting there. Cool. Hey, Charles, we've got you set up for a connection. Okay. Um, let's see. Michael Nelson, if I don't hear back from the assembly member in another week, I'm break down and pay for climber. Well, hey, Mike, um, or anyone else don't break down and pay for claimer. Like, seriously, go check out uh, Shelly or Jenny's channel. They've got I think if you haven't used claimer before, um, you can use their discount code that they have for Claimer through the referral program. You can get the call for 15 bucks when you're first time using Claimer. So make sure you do that, man. At least that saves you a little bit of money, um, you know, and it helps support Ginny and, and Shelly. So please consider do that. All right, let's get our next call going here. This next call is going out to Hannah. And Josh, I didn't forget you, man. Um, I'll just check with you. Okay, you did not, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Let me let me double check your email, Josh. I don't like skipping over people. Seven oh seven. Hey, Josh. The number that I have was seven oh seven two nine three eight six six four, and I think I dialed that, unless I totally didn't dial that. So can you double check? Let me know if I dialed the. 707-293-8664. Can you let me know? And I know there's a bit of a delay on the live stream, guys. So I'm going to set uh, Hannah up really quick. And Josh will come back to you in just a minute. All right. So Hannah, you're up next. 209-626. Jeff writes, thank you. We'll see you on your channel tomorrow, uh, July 28th. Yep. That's what I'm doing the next live stream, guys. Jeff, did you get your... Oh, Jeff, you're getting your call back here. Oh, you're going to show up. Hey, Jeff, just be aware, man. You're going to get your call back here. Um, you're number five right after Hannah. So keep in mind, I didn't forget about you, man. But please, guys, like, if you guys are around tomorrow, join the live stream tomorrow and let us know. Like, jump back into the live stream. Let us know because you guys are going to get all these callbacks, right? Like, if you're still on hold, like, jump back in the live stream and let us know. Like, hey, I've been on hold or hey, I got paid. You know, just kind of gives everybody some hope. All right. Daniel writes, great job. The live stream next. See you tomorrow at one. Cool. Thanks, Daniel. 
Joshua writes, yeah, I think the number you did was 707, then 930. Oh, okay. Yeah, Josh, I'll send you another call, bud. I will do that in just a minute. Thanks for catching that, guys. And also, please, um, I'm getting tired. So it's kind of like this live stream has been going for this is my longest one yet. We've been doing over three hours. Um, like, keep an eye on the phone numbers I'm putting in. I'm kind of getting a little bit uh, delirious in a not a bad way, but um, if you see me putting your phone number in wrong, just let me know. All right. Eight nine five zero two. Cool. Okay, Hannah, let me know if you got that text. Okay. Um, Jeff, be patient. I'm gonna set Joshua back up here. I think I put his number in incorrectly. Uh, all right. Hannah writes, California, thank you. Okay, Woke Tree. Hey, UI Vlogs is still with us. Woke Tree, it seems a result of another glitch. Your claim may have been trying to pull benefits from your old claim, which was at zero instead of pulling it from the new extension. Awesome. So cool to have someone who knows what the heck's going on. Thanks, UI Vlogs. Appreciate that. Victor writes, Lucas from Lorenza Gonzalez. Okay, offices has told me that he will still help you with your EDD claim, even though you live outside of District 80. Yeah, definitely, guys. Check out Victor's comment there. If you have not contacted your legislature, or sorry, your assemblyman, um, or you've heard from, you haven't heard from your assemblyman back, uh, Victor's comment's pretty helpful right there. All right, so Joshua, this one's going back out to you. Sometimes I feel like I'm a DJ. All right, Joshua, and this call is going out to you. Now that's a radio host. That's not, well, I guess that's a radio, radio DJ. All right, let's get this done here. Josh, you're going to be next. I'm sorry, uh, Jeff, you're going to be next. And after that, uh, we've got Reachem, Sadrudin, and Bobby. And that's going to be the last set of calls that we're doing today. I mean, there's only so much you guys can take of me, I'm sure. And I mean that in all the nicest ways, of course. All right. 11, 28, 1, 8, 9, 5. Two. Let's see if this goes through. Cool. Joshua, please let me know. I got that punch through for you. I got the success message. Let me know if that text came through for you. Okay. Hang on, guys. I got to stretch. Oh, okay. Uh, Joshua writes, thanks, man. Thank you so very much. Yeah, of course. Um, Hannah writes, mine was correct. Thank you. Just got the text. Thank you, Hannah. Chucky writes, got the text, Nick, just waiting on a call. Okay, guys, so just remember, right? Like you got the text that just basically lets you know that I plugged the phone number incorrectly, hopefully. Um, now we're waiting for Claimer to actually get you a connection. Now I will tell you this, um, it is 1146 here Pacific time. EDD goes to lunch from 12 to one, okay? So if you guys don't get your call in the next 10 minutes or 15 minutes, well, 14 minutes now, you guys are gonna get your call back after 1 p.m., okay? That's how it works. Claimer, thankfully, is smart enough, right? Like, they don't try and pound through all the phone lines when they're not available. They'll start calling for you after 1 p.m. Um, Alex, Chandra, I haven't gotten mine, Nick. Okay, Alex, um, you, I will, I will get you a callback. Can you confirm, Alex, that, see, I've got your name here somewhere. Alex, can you confirm your phone number is 626-905-5265, please? And I will call... Uh, that back. Okay. All right. Joshua Hicks got the text. Thanks, my friend. Okay, cool. Chris writes, getting through. Hey, Chris, um, you got an update? Oh, no, sorry. I missed your, your earlier comment. Chris had a question. Had a question. I have a friend that needs help as well. Can I email you again with her number instead because she's having issues as well? Um, Chris, I would you mind having your friend come to the live stream tomorrow? Um, I, I do the live stream and conjunction with the actual, uh, free claimer connections because just handing out the claimer connections really isn't valuable for people because so many people don't know like what they need to do in terms of, you know, actually, uh, how to use claimer, how to schedule those callbacks. I'd love to do this. Just have your friend show up to the live stream, um, and have her email me in advance. I'd love to help her. Of course, Chris, if, if that makes sense. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alex. Okay, thanks, Alex. We got your number. I will be setting you up with a callback. Just be patient. Um, okay, G-Town has given us an update. Tier two on hold, an hour and 52 minutes. 
uh michael nelson are you giving away the claimer callbacks yeah i'm buying them guys like i i go out and i buy like a bunch of these like prepaid cards um you know i pay for them and you know it's it's a way that you know claimer can give back to the community it's a way that i can give back to the community it's 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 also a, a very helpful way for you guys to like kind of see like you know calling isn't just like calling and getting through to edv isn't just the problem it's one of the problems right the disconnects are a very real thing the information that the agents give you is a very real thing good and bad right um you know understanding that you might need to talk to a tier two rep or an actual edd employee and understanding that a tier one agent is most likely a subcontractor right like kind of understanding that so um that's that's what i'm doing Okay, Mr. Abbott. So, Mr. Abbott, I think you were one of the first people that got a callback. You just stated that, yeah, you were number six today. You just got disconnected. I'm sorry uh, to hear that. Um, you know, again, it happens on those on those transfers between a tier one and a tier two agent. Um, you know, I'm glad you requested that callback. You requested, you know, you replied yes to the text message that Claimer sent. You will get a call back. Uh, Mr. Abbott, I just was mentioning to everybody, you're going to get a call back after 1 p.m. today, okay? Um, it, you know, EDD goes out to lunch and, and Claimer can't call on your behalf at that point. Cool. All right, guys, let's get everybody else squared up here. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so Reachem, you are next. I like your name. Uh... You know what, reach them. I didn't write your number down very clearly. Let me let me grab that. 706. Okay, cool. Seven oh six. Oh nine two nine. Hey uh UI vlogs, you don't want to call back, do you? I'm just curious. Like, if you want to try claimer, man, I'd be happy to send you a call. Um, of course, you probably don't want to share your number over that. So maybe we can do that some other time um, via email, just in case you needed it or want to try it. I just was thinking, like, I just I really want to thank you, UI Vlogs, and everybody, you know, thank UI Vlogs for coming in today during the channel. Um, it's really cool. I don't know. I kind of feel honored to have um, him there to, you know, be a part of this live stream and really helping some people get some really good answers on today's live stream. Um, I didn't expect it or plan it. So just kind of a nice surprise. Um, but yeah, you have logs. If you're still here, um, if you need a call back, I'm happy to happy to get you set up. All right, let's get this done. Do, do, do. Um, Chucky writes, you have logs. Can I have your email? I have a question. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you have logs is still here and I don't have you have logs as email. Um, but yeah, maybe he's still here or there may be a way, uh, Chucky to contact him on his YouTube page. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if there's a way to contact him on his YouTube page. And it wouldn't surprise me if you actually told him like, Hey, I was on the live stream with Nick the other day. Um, and I was wondering if you could, you know, there was a way I could contact you. Just kind of reach out that way. That'd be my recommendation if UI Vlogs has took off. We've been on this live stream for like over three hours, guys. So I'm kind of surprised he stuck around as long as he did. I mean, yeah, it's a long time. All right, let's see if we can get this through. Okay, so that call was for Reach Him. Reach Him, please let me know you got the text. The next one's going to Sadrudin. Yeah, cool. Uh, Chris writes, cool. Will you be being live streaming tomorrow? Yeah, Chris, I'm going to be doing it at um, 1 p.m. tomorrow. Kind of the goal for this week is I'm trying to do a live stream for California every week. I have, I'm not going to do this on a regular basis. Um, well, I, I can't do it five days a week is my point. I'd love to, but um, I can't. It uh, just takes a little too much out of me. But I'm going to try and hit that goal this week. Um, we've done it Monday. We've done it today. We're going to do it tomorrow. Thursday, I'm doing a live stream in Georgia, um, helping people there. And I don't have anything set for California for Thursday or Friday yet, but I might do one. So keep in mind, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. All right. So, so Druden, let's get you set up. Let me catch up on chats. Uh, 
Daisy, where do we email our number? Hey, Daisy, it's on the top of the chat. Um, I pinned it to the top of the chat box here. You'll see it. It's also in the live stream description on how to get a call back, okay? Victor writes, yes, on hold for lunch if you're still waiting on hold. Chris writes, cool, with you being live streaming tomorrow as well. I'll tell her to join tomorrow, cool. Now, Sadrudin writes, I think you did, Nicholas, already not sure. Um, yeah, Sadrudin, I might have already done yours, but I'm going to punch it through anyways because I don't have a check mark next to your name, so let's... Uh, Let's just do it again. Okay, and then Bobby, you're gonna be up next, and then Alex. UI Vlogs, hi Nick, thank you very much. No callback needed, but thank you for the offer. Just see, just here to see how things are going. At Chucky, leave a comment somewhere on my channel and I'll follow up. Yeah, so Chucky, perfect, right? UI Vlogs is still here. Um, leave a comment on his channel and yeah, find a way to reach you. All right, guys. Do, 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 do. What else do we have here? Reach him. Got the text. Thank you for confirming that, guys. I really appreciate that. It lets me know that you guys are actually going to get these calls. Um, you know, for some of you, hey, um, Liliana, if you're still in the live stream, please let me know via email. I think you were one other person that didn't get a text. Um, let me know if you did not get a phone call by like 2 p.m. today. And I will send you another call, okay? I won't leave you hanging. Because I know you were at the live stream yesterday. And I'm so sorry if I punched in your phone number incorrectly. Okay, cool. So, Druden, you are getting a call back, okay? So, let me know if you got the text. All right, let's get this set up for Bobby. All right. Oh. You know, they say sitting does not do good things to your body. And I have to agree. Sitting for three and a half hours is not doing good things to my body right now. So I apologize if you guys have to see me stretch. Welcome to live streaming. I don't know. I actually think live streaming is a ton of fun. Um, you know, the one thing I'm kind of wishing that we had was I wish we had a way to actually, I mean, the chat's, the chat's cool, but I wish we had a way to actually like hear people talk. You know, um, and somebody mentioned that there's a couple software programs out there that you could like do a live stream and then have, you know, people from your audience actually like either talk verbally or maybe even come on with their video, which would be pretty sweet. I mean, I don't know. It'd be a little bit more interactive, I guess. Um, besides, you wouldn't have to just hear me talking the whole time. It'd be really nice to hear like, you know, some people actually come on during the live stream and kind of talk about like what's going on with their claim if they wanted to share and maybe they don't. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just be a little more, a little more in depth than just me yapping away. Uh, let's see. Got the text. Thank you, Sadrudin, for confirming. Arshak, no text, no call yet for me. Arshak, um, let me double check your phone number. Let me see. Where are you, buddy? Okay, Arshak, is your phone number 818-631-2357? Again, Arshak, is your number 818 818- Six three one two three five seven. Let me know. Um, I may have written it down wrong. Yeah, and guys, for any of you that have not gotten text, please let me know. Um, and I'll actually make some notes here. I know Alex. Alex was one. Arshak, you were maybe another one. And I think Liliana. Where is Liliana? There you are, Liliana. I don't think you had one either. All right, back to the work. Two, eight, one, eight, nine, five, oh, two. Cool. Uh, let's see. Hey, Richard, I appreciate it. Thanks for dropping the live stream. I'm going to be doing another live stream tomorrow and I'll be giving out more calls then. I've just finished off my last, last batch of calls for today. I've been doing the live stream for about three and a half hours and I've got to take a break and go get some food. So uh, if you would like a call back, I encourage you to show up to the live stream tomorrow and we'll get you taken care of then, okay? All right, it looks like I'm at the end of this little card. Let's get another one going. Okay, Woke Tree, just hit two hours, 30 minutes, on hold for a tier two rep. 
Um, crazy. Yeah. Like woke. I hope you're really good at being on hold, man. And I really wish you all the best of luck or I may not be a man. I apologize. Um, yeah, I hope that, uh, I hope the call stays and keeps you connected. Um, you know, keep pressing nine. Hopefully that helps. Uh, thank you for the update. Of course, uh, Daisy writes tomorrow at 1 PM. Yep. Daisy, um, and anybody that wants a call back, uh, I'll be doing this live stream again tomorrow. Okay. Um, we will definitely get you guys taken care of there. Uh, Michael. Yep. Yeah, try and email me again tomorrow. Thanks guys. Uh, give me just a second. I've got to go register a quick card here because we're out of funds. Yeah. Um, you know, unfortunately, like I can't program like calls directly from claimer guys. Um, again, like, you know, that's just not something that they do. Uh, so what I do is I go out to, um, Walmart and I buy these, you know, prepaid gift cards. And so that's what I'm actually programming right now. And that kind of helps, you know, keep the, you know, anybody potentially stealing a card number from me but um that's why like that's the only way i can get you guys these callbacks um now if you guys were to purchase claimer yourselves um i guess that'd not be yourselves that would be yourselves <laughs> it's my seventh grade english teacher coming back at me um if you were to purchase claimer for yourselves you guys would get the callbacks just like you guys are getting with these but you guys would also which is really cool you guys would have the ability to work with claimers customer service team and look, guys, I'm not trying to like sell claimer. I'm just trying to tell you, like, if you purchase it, like, just be aware, like, of all the resources that you have. So above and beyond the callbacks, like, you can email uh, claimer, and we have this great customer support team there, and they will continue to support you with callbacks as long as you know it's it's within you know reason, right? Like, you know, if you request 50 callbacks, they're probably going to ask you to purchase another call just because each call costs claimer some you know some cash, but you know, reach out to the customer support team. You'll be surprised. Like if you're kind and you're responsive to them, they will help you. They will help you with some additional callbacks. Okay. You know, within reason. All right. So yeah, again, that's the reason why I purchase these callbacks is because I want to make sure that you guys um, get the additional callbacks. Um, and unfortunately, like I can't do it through like some faster method, um, you know, through like a software thing. I have to actually use the app itself. So that's why it takes a long time, guys. And, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's see if we can get this done. Cool. All right, let's get our next call set up for Bobby. <laughs> Woke Tree says, I'm a little OCD with the nines. I bet. Um, there's, no ha there's no harm in pressing nine more than once every 10 minutes. Um, it doesn't cause any damage. I just woke tree. Just look, man, like take a part of your mind and, and, or part of your heart and just be like, Hey, look, if I do get hung up on it happens, you know, um, it's not the end of the world. And, you know, by doing this, I'm one step closer to getting paid. So, you know, please just keep that in mind. Um, don't give up and woke. I think you actually purchased claimer. So you would definitely, you know, fall in that whole category of, like once you run out of those connections, um, email Claimer. They will continue to help you. If you are kind to the folks that actually work on our customer care team, they will absolutely send you more calls. Um, the only downside is, is like sometimes you need a lot of calls. So they are super fast. Like they, they do get back to you really quick as long as the tickets aren't too backed up, which are pretty busy Monday through Wednesday. But nonetheless, like it's an option for you. I just don't want you guys to pay for something and not get as much value out of it as you possibly can. Um, you know, and thankfully we're in a, you know, situation where we're able to do that. Um, so yeah. All right. Hopefully this goes through you, Bobby. Awesome. Bobby, sh let me know if you got that text. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here. Lazara, thanks for the info. I have a question, but I'll wait until tomorrow. Hey, Lazara, you're welcome to, um, I still have another callback or a couple callbacks to do. I have one for Alex. And I might have one here for our shock. Um, so if you have a question, go ahead and uh, do it. Okay, Chucky Lewis, welcome back to Claimer Radio. The weather is sunny, 80 degrees. Next up is the smooth sound of the EDD can't be bothered and they're hit seven hours on hold. 
Well, I'm glad that we actually have some comedians in the house. Uh, thank you, Chucky. You are always welcome to join my live streams, bud. Awesome. I <laughs> like that. <laughs> Next up is the smooth sounds of the EDD can't be bothered and they're hit seven hours on hold. Yeah, hopefully it's not that bad, but um, that's pretty good, man. Appreciate it. I had a friend in college who was a um, radio talk show. No, it was like talk show radio. So I think that, you know, would do like Rush Limbaugh and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, he would do like the intros. He had the best radio voice. It was great. You can just turn it on. Okay, Alex, I'm getting you another call back here. Um, let's do this again. 905. 626905. 5265. No, that's 5262. I got all that. I think we're good. Okay. Um, Eston. Okay, Bobby, thank you for confirming you got that, bud. And guys, like, I'm really encouraging you. If you are not sure how to use those callbacks, if those don't make sense, like, you know, please let me know in this chat box now because I want to make sure that you guys are aware, like you guys can request another callback this afternoon up until eight o'clock. And then I want you guys to absolutely request another callback this evening after eight o'clock, you know, to get a callback uh, for claimer to start calling EDD first thing tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Because I want you guys to get as many possible connections with these agents as you can. Um, so if you're not sure how that works, please let me know. And guys, what I'm doing here for those of you that aren't aware, like I'm, I'm, I'm purchasing these calls for everyone that emailed me. Um, I'm putting in my personal information just so we don't, you know, give too much personal information away. Um, and yeah, that way everybody gets like a full, um, you know, claimer uh, set of calls, which is really important. Because again, guys, like just because you dial on your own does not mean. Well, first off, assuming that you get through on your own. And you guys know how hard that is to get through. Um, unfortunately, like you guys are seeing that just because you get through doesn't mean you're going to actually get the help that you need. On average, you need to talk to an agent, you know, three to six times on average. Sometimes you can reach an agent the first time if you've got a simple thing with your claim um, and you're good to go. Other times it takes longer. And that's where having, you know, claimer does help. Um, but yeah. I'll check the comments in just a sec, guys. I'm just punching through these last few phone numbers. And then we're going to wrap up the live stream because, well, four-hour four hour live stream coming up on it. My boss is going to get pissed, though, if I don't uh, get off the live stream and actually go make some other YouTube videos. So I got to do that. Okay, cool. Alex, I sent you another call. Um, let's check the stream here. Okay, Daisy, thank you. I'll be seeing you at the live stream tomorrow for sure. Lazira writes, great, thanks. I just submitted my certification. It asked for three job searches, but I'm on extension tier two augmentation. I opted out from inputting the job searches. Was this correct? Yeah, so Liz Lazira, as long as you're not on a fed ed claim, which I don't think you would be on that tier two augmentation. I think you're on a PEUC extension. Um, I believe you should be okay. You do not need to actually put in your work searches uh, unless you have a fed ed claim and you only need to do the work searches, the three work searches. If you have a fed ed claim, everyone else only has to do one work search activity per week. So Lazara, you should be okay. Uh, Nasdruden, so, sorry, Nas, Nasdruden, Sadruden writes, I just got the text that says connect to Facebook. So I just go now, wait for a call. Am I good to go? Um, so Druden, no, I think what they, so Claimer has a private face, Facebook group, you know, where you guys can ask specific claim questions and so on and so forth. You don't need to go to the Claimer thing. Um, so Druden, what you need to be doing is, is that, yeah, you just need to wait for the call now. And guys, you're waiting for this call back and you see it on my screen here. It says, you know, wait for a call from 800 300 5616. And you guys are going to get those calls after 1 p.m. today if you haven't already gotten that, okay? Um, G Town talk, G Town writes, uh, thanks again. I'll check in after hearing what they can do for me. Thank you again for all your assistance. You're so welcome, G Town. Victor writes, no need to enter job search record online. Yeah, I think Victor's totally right on that. The only thing I've seen is that if you have a Fed Ed claim and you are actually applying for jobs, you do need to upload your record. 
um, to those jobs. Uh, for everyone else, you guys are in good shape. So I didn't hear back Woke Tree. I subscribe and hit thumbs up. My way of saying thanks. Hey, Woke Tree for sure. And Woke Tree, like I said, make sure you contact support at claimer.com. Uh, if you have any problems getting through past the 48 hours, you need some additional callbacks, okay? They're pretty laid back about it. And if you're nice about it, they'll be cool to you. Um, you're on PUC. Yeah, Lazara, that should be the case for you. Um, I'm going to send another call out to Liliana because I'm afraid that that might not have gone through. Seven, three, and I want to make sure that that went okay. Dun 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 All right. Do you guys have any questions for me before we start to wrap up the live stream? Are you confused on anything? Um, you know, just kind of an open forum for any questions. Um Hopefully it's not a, another question of what I had for lunch. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> that was a good question though. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions last minute, you know, please drop them in. Um, now's the time. I hope that every single one of you will give me the commitment that you will not give up, um, that you guys will use these phone calls, these callbacks that Claimer gives you, um, that you guys will keep trying over the next 48 hours to reach uh, Liliana, I just sent you another call. I hope you got that text if you're still with us. Um, and then our shack. Yeah, I'm going to send another one to our shack just a little bit. Um, I hope that you guys will UI vlogs. Great work as always. I sent you a follow-up email in regards to the other one. Thank you. UI vlogs. Yeah, I'll be checking my emails as soon as I get off this live stream. I'll reach back out to you. I did see your email on the whole impersonator thing. I don't even know what I've gotten myself into with that. Hopefully that's an easy fix. Um, I might have to ask you about how to square that up. I've heard there's some impersonation going on, but thanks again, man, for being here. This is, this is really cool. I've been uh, looking forward to meeting Jenny came on the program like last week. She dropped in and said, hi. Um, now you have, and maybe one of these days we'll get Shelly to, to say hi too. So, um, you know, as, as you guys know, and everybody that's watching the live stream, like I really encourage everyone to, you know, be a part of getting as much information as you can. And people like UI Vlogs, Shelly, Shelly's Millions specifically, and Jenny Silver, um, they're all doing fantastic work in this UI space. They're giving really timely news updates. Um, I really encourage you guys to continue to support their channels, please. This isn't a begathon for me. I'm literally telling you, like, you want these people in your corner the next time this unemployment situation comes around. And it will. Like, the... The odds of people becoming unemployed, unfortunately, are very, very high. In the next you know, five to seven years, there's a chance that you'll be laid off. Um, you want people like UI Vlogs. You want people like Shelly Smillions or Jenny or myself to still be around to give you guys this great you know, key information, right? Um, so you can support them by you know, leaving comments on their channel, subscribing, liking their videos, just, you know, it, it doesn't take much, right? But it's it's a way of paying it forward. So again, thank you, UI Vlogs. Um, I'll be reaching out to you soon. I appreciate it. All right, so let's get this set up for our shack. Uh, let's see, I'm just checking chats really quick. Lazira, thank you for your response. Thanks everyone else for your input. Yeah, totally welcome. Daisy, yeah, like Zoom. What do you mean like Zoom, Daisy? Woke Tree, is it your understanding that on hold calls will not be picked up during lunch? Um, I don't actually know the answer to that. I suspect that they actually have a rotation of people that do work during lunch. They just don't take any calls during lunch. So if you guys are on hold, uh, I am sure that they are answering calls. They probably just don't have the full staff that are answering calls. Um, they're just not taking any more calls in during lunch, if that makes sense, Woke Tree. So Victor writes, yes, no one will pick up during lunch. I could be wrong on my former statement I just said, um, but again, stay on hold. That's my recommendation there. So Druden, three months ago, I was on extension tier two and my payment went pending. I called in, the lady said it's because your claim expired and need to reapply. I reapplied on the phone with her, pending still. So Druden writes, I'm now on regular UI I believe I no longer see on extension. Yeah, so Druden, sounds like you're probably going to need to talk to a tier two rep, my friend. Um, again, while you're doing that, 
um, literally while you're on hold, I would contact your assemblyman right away. Get attack this from all angles. You can possibly get not possible. You can probably get this fixed over the phone with a tier two agent. But there's a lot of disconnects right between a tier one and a tier two agent. Uh, and also, you know, there's like four at least a four hour hold. Um, so you know, you've got four hours on hold. Just contact your assemblyman, email them, and get that process moving too. All right, all right. So I'm gonna get this last call set up for our shock, and that'll be it for today. Um, yeah, this is a great live stream, everyone. I really appreciate um, all the comments. We've uh, we've definitely had a lot of folks come in, and I think we've helped a lot of folks, which is great. The really cool thing that I liked about it was that um, we had a lot of people that came in from the previous live stream yesterday and even last week that came in and confirmed they got paid uh, by calling. Now, yes, they got paid using, well, they didn't get paid using Claimer. They use Claimer to get through the calling system, right? Um, and they use those callbacks. So I'm really happy to get that feedback. Um, you know, like that's that's just, that's what we're all trying to do here, right? So um, yeah, this is why I like doing live streams. Got a few more comments coming in, Victor. Uh, you will need to wait on hold after 1 p.m. Unfortunately, thanks, Victor, for clarifying that, guys. Like I said, I'm learning about this too. I'm an expert in Nevada, not an expert in California, but I'm learning. Andrew Turner, hey Andrew, I think I helped you. Yeah, Andrew, cool, you're back. Hey, Andrew writes, this guy is legit. He helped me so much. Thank you again, brother. I just want to say that, Andrew, you're so welcome, man. Thanks for jumping in back into the live live uh, stream and and checking in. Did you get paid i think you did andrew um i think you got the callbacks and i think you got set up let me know if you didn't andrew writes they do call back the whole time is very long but it's worth it in the end hang in there they call back they will help you yeah so andrew's talking about the callback mechanism and i know that victor is also a fan of the callback um so here's my here's my understanding of the callback situation I have heard that by using the callback, this is while you're waiting on hold, that an actual EDD agent calls you back. Like when you pick up the phone, it's an EDD, you're not waiting on hold. Like it's actual like, hi, this is, you know, Sonia or Robert, whatever from EDD, like I'm calling you back to, you know, help you get your claim fixed, which is pretty freaking awesome. The problem that I have with it is that I don't know if they call everybody back. I really don't. And I don't know when they call people back. And so you guys can imagine, right? Like, okay, cool. I'm just going to use this, 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 you know, leave a message feature with EDD, but I'm going to go watch a movie or I'm going to go take a walk and I'm going to wait for them to call me back. Well, they can call you back when you don't have service. They can call you back when you're, I don't know, in, in a subway, on a train, in a, in, in an elevator, they could, you could literally miss that callback. And so that's why I don't trust the callbacks. I don't know if they call everybody back and I don't trust that your phone will actually be on and be on you when they call you back. They could call you back tomorrow, perhaps. So guys, like, that's why like when you get on hold, I recommend that you stay on hold. That's my personal recommendation. But, you know, like I said, if you guys are in a jam, in a pinch and you guys can't stay on hold for that long, sure, use it. Okay, Arshak, I've got you another callback. I hope that gets over to you from a text perspective. Victor writes, hold times for EDD are crazy today. Yeah, um, they were crazy last week. And guys, they're super crazy because of this quarter review. So many people are impending still. Um, there's a tree being cut down in front of my front yard. Probably a good sign that the EDD stream needs to end or the live stream needs to end. All right. Andrew writes, yes, you did get paid. Andrew, I'm so happy for you. Um, I'm actually going to contact you, Andrew. I think I've got your email somewhere. Um, I'd love, Andrew, if you'd be down to do like a five-minute recorded interview with me and just tell people like how you got your claim paid, man. Um, I'll be setting that up uh, or I'll send you an email after this live stream. Um, if you don't want to do it, that's totally fine. But just I ask everybody that got, gets paid to see if they want to pay it forward. Share your information with other people to give them some hope, okay? Irene, hey Irene, how you doing? Good to see you again. Uh, I'm thankful they call back trying again. Keep trying, Irene. Don't give up. All right. I mean, I had Chris here, who I think last week, I think he called ten times. I think it was Chris. It might have been someone else. But either way, called fifteen times. No, ten times, and didn't get through. Got disconnected every time. 
um, it happens, you know, but don't give up. All right, Chucky, my radio voice is pretty good. Just got a message from Claimer that ED is at lunch. They'll resume the call in after 1 p.m. Okay, guys, so for all of you that are waiting for callbacks, they're going to happen after 1 p.m. today, okay? Chris Matson writes, you know, I talked to EDD last week on the 15th, and again, my stuff is pending again, but it shouldn't be. They told me on the 15th, but again, pending. Hey, Chris, I'm going to be doing another live stream. Uh, jump on a call or jump on the live stream with me tomorrow, and let's get you called in to EDD, and let's see if we can get that fixed. Arshak writes, just got the text. Thank you so much. Arshak, you're so welcome. Thank you for letting me know that you can get that text earlier. I'm glad we got you set up. Um, appreciate your patience, man. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close the live stream. Um, I'm tired, and I know you guys probably all are too, but I'm going to go get some food, and that needs to happen. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Now, I mean, I've given you all the information that I had. We had a great, uh, we had a great live stream. We had UI Vlogs come on. Uh, we had some great commentary from everybody. I know the hold times are super crazy. I mean, you guys are now like seeing what it takes for a company like Claimer to get through. You guys can imagine what it's like to try and get through on your own. Then you guys are now seeing like the hold times. Like even if you got through, like were you really planning on, you know, calling and then being on hold for multiple hours? Like this is this is this is how crazy it is in California right now. So you know, just be aware of all this. I'm trying to share with you guys this information so you guys have the mindset kind of going into this. Um, the last thing I want to leave with you again is, you know, if you can't stay on hold, you guys have those callbacks. Um, I hope you guys know how to all use those, you know, by replying yes to those text messages that Claimer sends you. I really encourage you to use as many of those callbacks as you can possibly fit in over the next 48 hours. And again, I recommend that you guys are scheduling a callback for tomorrow morning at 8 p.m., sorry, at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. By having uh, by replying yes to those text messages this night, this evening after Claimer, sorry, this is <laughs> the end of the live stream, after uh, EDD closes at 8 p.m. So again, tonight, reply yes after 8 p.m. and Claimer will call EDD for you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Okay, so there's that tip. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Todd writes, good one. Thanks, Nick. So Druden writes, thank you for your time. Appreciate a lot. Uh, we'll keep you posted. Thanks, guys. And the other thing too, guys, is please like, um, last one, you know, as a favorite for me is, you know, please like jump on to the live stream once it posts and, you know, put some comments on the live stream. It helps, you know, build out the channel's visibility, um, you know, like it. Um, obviously you guys are probably subscribed if you guys have got calls. Um, but yeah, like help me out in that space if you can. Irene writes, thank you. I won't give up. I so appreciate you. Yep. Your radio voice is clear and sounds wonderful. Enjoy your lunch and have a good day. Awesome. Thanks, Irene. That's very kind of you. Okay, guys, I think that's it for today. Um, we ran for almost four hours. So um, this is the kind of time that it takes to dedicate, you know, to get a hold of EDD. Um, but I will say this, it, it, it's worth it. The, the payoff is worth it. And the last thing I'm going to leave with you guys is this. Every single one of you, even though you guys have got these calls with EDD, please contact your assembly men today. Get the process going on that, okay? Please, please do that, all right? Michael writes, last one. Oh, wow. Very good point regarding a callback option. Sometimes in an area where I get dropped, calls are service too. I'd rather wait on hold at home for three hours a little. Yeah, guys, that's what I'm saying. Like once you get on hold, um, man, just really be in a good, good place. Good service, good reception. Chucky writes, hi, thanks for your patience. EDD is currently out to lunch. Uh, so Chucky is uh, telling us like this is the text message that Claimer sends. He says, hi, thanks for your patience. EDD is currently out for lunch from 12 to 1 p.m. We have your order scheduled and resume calling them at 1 p.m. Thank you for your continued patience. Cool. All right. Yeah, guys, so you guys are all going to get callbacks this afternoon. I promise you. Like, you guys have seen it. It takes a long time to get the callbacks, but you will get them. And they'll happen faster in the afternoon. Um, that, is, that is the good news. All right. Vitello, thanks for the info, dude. You're welcome. V v Vitello? Vitello. I hope I got that right. All right, guys, I'm going to close it out. Thanks a lot. We'll talk soon. I'll see you on the live stream tomorrow. Um, yeah, many thanks. I appreciate it. We'll see you.